Hello, hello. Hi guys, can you hear me? Let me know. I want to make sure I did this correctly. Let me know. Hi, Lisa and Kimberly. Hi, Tammy. Can you hear me? Let me know. Hi, Cindy. Let me know. Did that thing pop up that said like countdown, like 30 seconds? Did that pop up or not? I don't even know if I clicked it. I have no idea. Oh, good. You guys can hear me. That's good. Okay, good. I got to figure out, I see how some people go on StreamYard and they can put like the chat where you guys can see the chat. So uh, like on the the stream, the uh, thingy majiggy here, but you know, Tammy, did you see on my um, Just Dance World, I tried to mess around with this and I didn't know I went live. <sighs> my God, I was so embarrassed. Uh, no, it didn't do countdown. I wonder if I have to hit it again. I don't know. I'll play around with it another time. You click comments. I did. That's how I see you. Okay, let me go down here. Mute settings present. And I don't see the comment thing. Hi, Christina. Sorry that you don't see me on camera, but I look a hot mess right now. And I'm trying to do my back drop. Let me just tell you what happened. Do you remember I've been asking you guys, should I do baby blue, go back to dark blue because I did not like that uh, green? Okay. So I put, when it came in, when the lights came on, it looks like a medium blue. Click on the comment. It will pull to your bottom screen. Where the hell's the comment at? Hold on. Oh Lord, I don't know. Where, where do you see the comment? Let new layout. Let me say something. Oh God, I don't know what I did. I don't know. Oh, the comment. No, that's viewers. I don't know. What is this three buttons, guys? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. I want to talk to you guys. Um, you see your face. You can, you could. no, I'm not on camera. You can't see me. Can you, um, click on any comment in the chat? Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, now I see how that works. Thank you. I um, can't see you. It's just a picture in a circle. Okay, don't scare me. I'm like, oh, no. So let me just tell you real quick because you know I have, I, I forget what I'm talking about. So I put up, uh, okay, oh, my goodness. I put up this the backdrop stuff. And when you turn the lights on, it looks like a, I don't know, I hated it. So I just ripped it down. So now I ordered a different color. I know. I, I'm having this OCD. I don't know what is going on, but I cannot stand my background. I'm going to get ready. Uh, I, I was telling Lisa, I was like, I'm at the point where I'm going to change the furniture instead of black. I'm going to buy white. <laughs> Do you ever get like that when it's something that you can't, you don't like the way it looked. And so like, you can't stop thinking about it until it's like fixed right. Y you know what I mean? And that's where I'm at. So anyhow, that was my day for today. How are you guys doing? I'm going to, um, in about 10 minutes or so, I'm going to drop the link if anybody wants to come up. Because if you don't know, I don't know, a few days ago, I think it was like, uh, what was it? New Year's Eve or something like that. At two in the morning on my blog channel, we tested this out. So now this is the second time I'm using StreamYard, but I want you guys to see like what it's like if you come up. Hey, Tara, how are you? Where you see the comment, just tap the comment. But you know how, I? how do you do it to where, do you ever see like people have the all the comments or maybe you can see it. Let me look on my phone because I may not even know what I'm talking about. Hold on probably would help if I see what you guys are looking at. Give me a second. Oh. 
Um, you know how like on on so on that black box, how like people put their comments on there, not like on the bottom where I click that, like where the comments are scrolling on the black box. Do you know what I mean? See, Tara, you know what I've been doing? I've been getting on B's nerves. I've been like, B, how do you do this? Because I did not know that I set up a live the other day when I was just messing around with it. And I'm like, how the hell did I get it off? Um, how's Nala? Nala's doing really, really good. Yeah, I got to figure out how to do a banner too, Tara. Um, what was I saying now? Oh, Nala. So she's doing really, really good. Isaiah's off. So she's in Isaiah's room because you guys know I'm on the third floor and I don't want her going up and down too much. But she's starting that medicine that they gave her. I mean, uh, she's like running and stuff and I have to stop her because, well, if you guys don't know, Nala hurt her shoulder and they gave me some medicine. The vet said if she's not better in two weeks to bring her back and they would have to do like x-ray, like more testing, you know, to make sure it's not nothing even uh, like worse. And how they knew it was her shoulder. She, she had hurt her shoulder when she was a puppy. but uh, the, she allowed the vet to move her paws, like, you know, her left paw back paws. But when it came to her right side, Nala was putting all her weight. She wouldn't let the vet pick it up. And so when you can see her shoulder was swollen and I just think, I mean, she didn't fall or nothing. So they think it might be like a soft tissue, but, uh, I mean, within a day with that medicine, I mean, she's like back to normal, but I'm trying not to get her to like play with the puppies and stuff, you know, yet. So, cause the medicine might just be making her feel good, but I don't know if it's healed, you know, but she's doing really, really good. Thanks for asking. I was so worried. You know how I was? I cried. I was like, Oh, I don't like to see any, any animals hurt. Um, hi from Ohio. Let me get my glasses on. Then I can read the chat better. Oh, hold the phone. Where are my glasses at? Oh, here they are. Did I tell you guys I found my glasses, my good ones? Um, hold on, let me put them on. Okay. Oh, now I could read. I just got home from the emergency vet myself. My pups are more expensive than kids. Yes. Everything okay with the puppies? Is it just a checkup or is something going on? Yeah, you would cry too. I, Mary, I cried. I thought, oh, and then they told me, you know, bring her back. So make sure it's not even worse than that. And I was, oh my God, just it hurt my feelings. Um, Just received your palette. It's freaking awesome. Oh, thanks, Liz. It's so funny that you said that because my palettes for restock just came in. So I do have them um, available on my website. It's very, very low quantity. And this is the last restock. So just in case you got, you know what I can, let me put my, let me figure out how to do this. Let me go on here, copy. I'm going to put the link to the website for you guys, just in case you want to look at it. Um, Yeah, guys, please hit the like button and stuff. Once I get, to, this is what I want to do on this channel with the StreamYard. Once I know what I'm doing, I want to be able to like put in videos and we react to videos or let's say new makeup releases. You know, I can give my opinion and then you guys can give your opinion or you can come up on panel and give your opinion or if there's something that you want to talk about, you know, something like that. And then on the vlog channel, you know, we'll do nightly like gossip and you know talking and all that just so you know only you and lisa can drop any link uh, oh yeah that i do know with the moderator i do know that um the dumbass ate an entire chocolate bar but not to add to that it was my hubby's edible oh <gasps> oh my god well chocolate's bad for him but i mean oh god i bet you oh lord they probably were high as hell Oh my God, that's terrible. I mean, it's not funny. It's like, oh gosh. Um, are you still going to post a video showing different eye looks? Yes, I am. All I have to do is just edit it. I've been dealing with Nala and stuff like that. I haven't posted any videos on either channel. Um, so I'll probably edit that tonight and have it up tomorrow. Hey, Crystal and Tony um, and Michelle. Let me see if I can go up and down. This is like a test run for me, guys. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. 
I want to make sure. Hi, Panda. I want to make sure I said hi to everybody. Oh, Nana from Louisiana. Oh, you got yours too. I'm so glad. Isn't it prettier in person? It's so pretty in person. But as a pothead, I had to laugh. <laughs> Do you know what? That is one drug I never liked was weed. I tried it one time, but I did not. Now, this was years ago. I was in my 20s. Now, I did not know there was different strains because, you know, weed wasn't my choice of drug. It was alcohol at the time. And so I was like, oh, you know, I've always suffered from anxiety. So I was like, oh, let me try it. Now, mind you, I don't even smoke cigarettes or anything. OK, so I, I don't even know if I was inhaling. And it made me so hyper. It gave me like my anxiety was like 10 times worse. So for many years, I did not know there were different strains. So for many years, I kept saying, oh, I don't like weed. <laughs> weed makes me hyper and then you know somebody was like well you know there's different types you probably got this one i said ah oh. so i was never a, a weed person though but i probably should take it for because i'm so hyper It'll probably calm me down um you've come a long way just wanted to say hi hi kitty bug how are you um kim they are more purple but i get it oh you're talking about the colors yeah um, I will not wear blue shadows. Yeah, they're more in person. They're like a purple blue, you know, they're not like real purple and they're not blue. It's so weird how like, cause I don't use a camera. I use a phone. And so it's just weird how it looks. I don't know. It just looks different in person. It's really pretty. Um, are you, are you still planning on doing tie-dye shirts? Yes, I do. Yes, I am. I do have merch coming. And coffee mugs coming. I have all that coming. Will be in the beginning of 2024. Um, I used to really get paranoid when I smoked, but oh, where'd the comment go? It's going so fast. Hold on. Um, but I'm fine. The edibles. You know what? I don't know anything about weed. So my son was like, because I need help to sleep with. So my, you know, it's legal here in Jersey uh, for recreational and medical's been. It's, it's been legal here for years, but it, it's now recreational. And so I'm like, well, you need to go because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And I need something to help me sleep. You know what I mean? A lot of my friends smoke weed. I tried it. I was coughing up a storm. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, yes, I'm so glad, Valerie, you caught me live. I'm, I'll be on for about an hour, I guess. Let's see. Um, I'm saving my dollars for her upcoming mystery collapse. I can't smoke, but you can take edibles. Yeah, that's what I hear a lot. Well, I did try these gummies. Um, and they did help me sleep, but they I didn't sleep for like hours. But here's the thing. Now they had CBD and THC in it. Now here's the, now only 3%, this is how much of a lightweight I am. You guys are going to laugh, okay? All you weed heads, Tira, Lisa, all you guys, you're going to laugh. Okay. It only had, what was it? 3% of THC. That's it. Okay. So I took one. I was like, oh, one did nothing for me. I, I took one for about three or four days. So I said, oh, I'll just take two. You know, I friggin' take two. And within maybe an hour, I was on the phone, I think with my friend Jody. And, and I was like, uh, I got to let you go. I am high. I was so high. <laughs> on three percent oh gosh that was terrible and I, I didn't like that feeling oh my god that was so funny your palate's beautiful i ate the sugar daddy you you, you i ate the oh the sugar daddy <laughs> how did we read that today you slept with the palates i love sugar daddies aren't they good oh that was too funny i had to reread re that one um, let's see. How do I come up and chat with no camera? I look awful. Girl, you should see what I look like. In a few minutes, what I'll do is I'll post a link and then you can come up and you, there's an option, right, Lisa and Tira, if you're on here, that you can hit like uh, no camera. And then you don't, you, you'll be like me. See how you don't see me? Because I want to talk to you guys, but I want to say hi to you guys too before people start coming up. Edibles are great for sleeping. What I got, they were it was called Tommy Chung or something like that. Tommy Chung. 
So I don't know if I got the right thing or wrong thing, but I'll tell you what, I never took two again. She needs indica. Yeah, that's what I had. What was the other strain I took that made me so damn hyper? Hey, Jerry. Good to see you, too. I'm so happy you guys made it. You use it for pain management. Yeah, it's really, really good for pain management. I was on pain medicine for, what, 16, 17 years. And when it became um, medical approved, they always wanted me to get on, uh, you know, the weed program, right? Because it's very easy here in Jersey to get on it. But I was like, no, because here I thought, I don't like the way weed is. Weed made me so hyper. <laughs> you know? So I always said no, but, um, yeah, they say it's really good for pain. Um, Kimberly, just don't turn the camera on, but yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll, and in about five more minutes, I'm going to go ahead and, and put the link down. It's so versatile, different ways to wear the palette. I went and bought me a new outfit for new year's and I knew I would wear your palette, but it, but it did not happen that way, as you know. Yeah, I, I hear you. Oh, I'm so happy, though, you guys like the palette. Isn't it beautiful? Like, the duo chromes are the bomb. St. Angels and Sinners has the bomb formula. Because, you know, it's not my formula. I just pick the colors and the names and then customize the palette and all that type of stuff. But, yeah, she's got bomb formula. I really, really like her formula. A lot of these indie brands, I still say, are so much better than the mainstreams. And, 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 and I truly believe that, you know, they're more expensive, of course. I mean, because when you have more money, you know, you have the money to put out and to get a big quantity because the more that you purchase, the cheaper it is, right? Well, when you have, um, when you're not, when you're a small indie brand, it's more expensive and stuff. And, you know, I know that firsthand now. I got to get my Just Dan Coffee mug. Yep. Hopefully by March, everything should be good. Um, but I'll show you the coffee mugs and all that. Like all, when I do my coffee talk for Just Dan's World, you'll see me drinking out of some of them. So happy to call you live tonight. I'm so happy too, Lisa Walker. I'm so happy you're here. There's my dolphins, girl. I sent you the info on the... Yes, I seen that. Yes, I did. I seen it. Yep. Thank you so much. Um, now you need THC. Yeah, see, Tira, I think I got the CBD and THC. They were both. It was called Tommy Chung or something like that. They were CBD mostly. She has a, she was always a guy. <laughs> Tara, it only had 3% of THC. I took two of them. All of a sudden, before you knew it, my I had to like literally put my head down. My head, I was like in one of those like, uh, like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, I think I need to lay down. God, that was terrible. I'm telling you, I'm a lightweight. Um, okay, do you think, let me see, Anne doesn't want to talk to me or can't. I see your comment, Melanie. See, what happens is sometimes the comments go so fast, I can't say, but... I, you know, I'm sorry. I see you. I'm sorry. Oh, what was that? Uh, Lisa just told me you're behind. I am behind in chat. You know what happened? I It sticks, right? Tara, is there a way I can get it where it doesn't stay? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Holy crap, I am behind. Oh, Lord. What in the hell? Um, love me a good mug. Can't wait for those. Yes, I love them too. Holy crap, guys. I am so sorry. I was in the living room talking to my sister. I just put my dad to bed and told I got to go hang out with my friend, Ann. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, gosh. That's why I told my kids. I, I, I went and I took Nala out, put her back in Isaiah's room. I told because my, both my Lexi's working, Isaiah's off and you know, Tyler's home. He works a day shift. But I told both my boys, I'm like, do not bother me. I'm going live. Leave me alone. I'm going to chill with my friends. Um, she's Yes, Lisa is a good moderator. I don't know how the hell she does it. Lisa will say hi to every single person and stuff. I'm like, how the heck do you do it? Um, I also had, oh, where did it go? 
See how my thing just leaves. At 3%, one would have been enough for you, girl. I know. I took two because I thought, oh, one isn't doing nothing. See, my problem is I'm impatient and I don't like waiting. So I was like, well, this isn't doing anything. <laughs> you keep saying Tira. Hold on. And I am over here thinking you're saying Kira, which is my name. And I'm like, girl, are you talking to me? <laughs> I would say Panda. Um, when are you going to do a vlog on your a video on the palette? Well, I did a few like swatches and stuff, but do you mean um, like uh, get ready with me and stuff? That should be up tomorrow. Uh, Nala's doing really good, Cammy. She's doing so good. Like an amazing. Yeah, Lisa is the bomb. Let me tell you something. Lisa is the bomb. I absolutely love your new palette. I let my subscription go and thought it was too late, but I got it. It's completely opposite from your last one. I'm oh, all, thank you. It's so different because the last one I did like red and green and I wanted this one to be like totally different, you know, but it did favor more blue on camera. I mean, it does have like a blue tint, but it's more like purple blue, you know? What did you get for Christmas? Well, Isaiah's gift has not came yet, so I don't know. Lexi got me a Bath and Body Works and like, you know, all like girly stuff. Tyler got me some clothes and some hoodies and all of that stuff and money. And then from you guys, like Patricia got me some pots and pans. I cannot believe it. I got so many cards from you guys. Oh, my goodness. But I'm more like I like to give than receive. <laughs> that didn't sound too good, did it? <laughs> oh, you know. Um, oh my god, this is famous terror you used to rumble with. Yes, Dolphins girl. Hey, hey, look, 2024 is different. Let me tell you something about me and Tara. I want to say this, okay? I don't know if Tara is still on or not. Me and Tara. I believe, I don't know. I mean, me and Tira, we don't, I, we don't talk on the phone. We don't talk behind the scenes. I don't know. But we are very hot tempered, uh, high strong, and we kind of grew up the same way, right? On the streets, uh, as far, like hanging with, you know, and doing stuff we shouldn't be doing. And, um, you know, Tira says what she has to say. I say what I have to say, but it's it. But one thing about Tira, I can say, she will apologize when she does wrong like I will. I can apologize, you know, and, and that's that. And you let it go. But uh, I'm determined to be Anne's home. Uh, <laughs> you are. Look, I let it go. The past is the past. Look, nobody's perfect. I say this all the time. Nobody is perfect. And I know I sit there and I preach in every one of my videos. What do I say at the end? Right. And then I sit there and I let certain people piss me off. And then when I get mad, I get mad, you know, so. Would you ever do a P.O. box unboxing with gifts? Do you know what? Here's the thing why I haven't done it before. And, and, and so one time I got on camera and I said, who sent me something? And she like emailed me. Was so, she didn't want her name said. And I didn't know. So I, I don't know. Like, should I ever say like this is from so and so? So I usually reach out and say thank you. You know, but I, I just don't know because. I, I, that made me feel so terrible. Hey, BTU, I was just talking about you. <laughs> I said she's going to start blocking me. I was like, B, what do I do? My live's up. How do I get it down? <laughs> I've always heard if you can still be friends after a fight, then it's a Yeah, you know, some people don't want names, but most like it. Okay, because I didn't know what to do. I, I never know what to do. And then I think, well, it's awful rude. I, you know, I don't want people thinking, you know, like... I don't care. I love watching Ann's video. It's like having a sit down with your bestie that that lives far away. She's real in a fake world. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel about you guys. You know. All right. I'm going to drop the link really quickly. I know Lisa. My girl wants to come up and stuff. Okay. Let me remember how to drop a link. Okay. Invite. Copy. Okay. There is a link. Now I'm only going to have like one person up on time because what happened was 
last time I was having four and five people up and because it lags, we were like cutting each other off and all of that. So if you want to come up and then, you know, after a few minutes, you know, we'll drop down and let somebody um, else up and stuff. Still waiting on my Slate Glam Box. I hope it comes soon. I hope it does too, Nina. Are people still waiting for their Slate Glam Box? You do one time. Yeah, I learned that. And, and it's not nobody's fault. They didn't realize that, they, you know, you're cutting people off and different things like that when you're talking. I dropped. Okay, there's Lisa. Okay, let me add you to stage. Hello. Hi. I couldn't figure out how to put the picture up. I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you got to ask Tira or BTU or somebody else because I, I tried, I put the picture up and I went live and didn't know I was going live. I know. I was like, did you know you were going live? And you were like, nope. <laughs> I was like, well, you are. It was funny. And I was like, how do I get off here? I said, like, I know. I don't even know how to get on it, let alone get off of it. Lisa, you know, I always crack on Lisa. Like Lisa didn't even know how to copy and paste. When I tell you we are both, we are like the blind leading the blind. Lisa was like, well, let me look it up. Let me Google it. I, I always Google stuff. That's the only way I can do it. I'm like, let me Google. And I was like, let me get a hold of B. I know. Cammy, thank you so much for the super chat. Yes, thank you, Cammy. Hi, Nina. Oh, you know how. Yes, Tara, please do get a hold of me. You're I, I I need to learn. Um yeah, because I'm just going to be a white dot until we can figure it out. It said, push the three buttons. There's like seven sets of three buttons. I have no clue. Okay, Crystal, I see you're backstage. Let me add Crystal up real quick. Okay, hold on. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi. You have to you have mute, to mute um, the thing so that it doesn't so echo. Gotcha. Sorry about that. That's okay. okay. Hey, we're all hey, we're learning. All learning. Hey, I did the same, I did the same thing. thing. We all get quiet. We're all quiet. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the chat. Are you there, Crystal? I Which am, way? but I don't see what to mute, so I'm trying to figure it out so I can shut off my mic. Well, Whatever you did, it's working because I don't hear the echo. All right. Do now. Turn the volume down. Crystal, just turn the volume down on your phone or your device. Gotcha. Doing that now. I did the same thing when we were doing the test time. <laughs> Is this better? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. It's a little echoing. Oh, thank, oh you, thank you, Tara. Tara. Thank you for the thank super sticker. Oh, Tyra. Tyra. Nice super chat. Thank you. I see B left a um, comment. Turn off YouTube. I Let's see. The first thing first I thing said I was said go, on, go your on your computer and delete computer. your con. Yes. Yeah. You have to turn have the to turn volume, volume down so it doesn't, doesn't echo. echo. I'm trying to add a photo. Well, I can't figure that out. <laughs> if you do, you do. Share. share. We'll do, we'll do. Yeah, we got to stop the echoing. We'll have to drop you and then figure it out and, because it's echoing with you on here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Carol, I think you're up next. Let's see. Make sure you have the YouTube volume down so it doesn't echo. I think. This is a learning curve. Yeah, we're all learning. It's all right. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Either do we, so you're right in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> I told my husband, if you need me, wave your arm so I can mute the thing. I know. <laughs> but at least I can talk now. Before, I could read the chat, but I couldn't talk or chat. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, isn't this a cool thing, StreamYard? I love this so much. I love being yeah. able to talk to you guys and all of that. It is. It's really nice. It's very cool. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Thanks. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. I've watched well, you for so long. Oh, well, you know, I, I want to do this like a couple times a week and have it at nine, well, nine o'clock Eastern time and just have like a chit chat because this is what I say. So well, I can speak for myself, right? I, I don't really have a life, you know, and <laughs> I don't either. Could, yeah. And it could be depressing. And Make so it three. Like, right. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm sure if I feel like there's are so many other people that are going through things, grieving or anything, and it's just nice to spend an hour of your time just talking yeah. and getting your mind off of it. And I was like, you know what? Because YouTube helps me out. It real mental. I mean, YouTube can yeah. be bad for your mental health, but it also could be very good, you know? I think so, too. And you know how you're always talking about how you're getting old? I just realized next month I'm going to be 68. Didn't even think about how old I was until I realized that today. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, you're young at heart. Yeah. I'm, well, I don't. I feel like I'm about 30, actually. Well, I'm 55 but, this year, so be 56 some, in July. Well, I'm glad I'm not alone. You're not alone. Trust me. Everything creaks, but I'm still strong. At, at hold on, I think did I not? Uh, oh, did I not? Carol? You're changing the pictures around a little bit. Everybody's still here, right? No. Oh Lord, I think I knocked. Oh my God, what did I do? It's all right. You'll figure it out. This is new. <laughs> We're new. We're new I at this. I was trying to type a comment. I think I knocked somebody. I knocked her off. We accidentally knocked you off. We're trying to figure it out. Hit the link again. Anybody that wants to talk, hit the link. All right, Kimberly, I'm going to put you up. Hopefully, I don't knock you off. I feel terrible. It's a learning curve, Ann. Hello, Missouri. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are, How are you? you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm like nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. We're all nervous. Yeah. Look, and just threw somebody out of the chat by accident. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't be nervous. Where you, oh, how's your day going? It's going okay. I'm Good. How's the weather up in your neck of the woods? Where are you? It's snowing here. Where are you located? Oklahoma. Oh, okay. And it is snowing. It's been snowing all day. We never see snow. <laughs> Not where I am. It's been light this year, but I think this is the third time now it snowed. Are you still there, Ann? Have you muted yourself? No, I'm here. I just don't want to interrupt while you're talking. Your turn. Yeah, jump on in. Well, here in Jersey, let me just tell you, it has not snowed one time. Actually, it's been like in the 40s. It has been so warm compared to what it normally is. We haven't had no like bad storms. No, I mean, it rains all the time here, but I am shocked. It's January and it hasn't snowed. That is wild. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. It's I'm sending it to you. 44 degrees here. That's nice. 44 is not bad. I think it's 22 here right now. Mm. Well, right now it's reading 21 degrees because it's nighttime. But during the day, it's like in the 40s. Yeah. So do you watch the Anne's, both Anne's channels or just the one? Both. I do. Oh, good. I watch both. Mm -hmm. We like that. Which one do you like better? Oh. you like the beauty channel or do you like the... I can't get to know me. I love both. <laughs> I do watch a lot of the, the beauty channel and all, but I, I, I'm subscribed to both. I like both. Amen. Amen. And got a way of cheering you up. Absolutely. Aww. That's why I got to know her. Yeah. Do you know how me and Lisa met? How Listen, met? from a Morphe palette, because when I started YouTube, I thought Morphe was high end. So did I. <laughs> well. I was going through my palettes last night, and I put that palette back right where it belongs. I'll never get rid of that palette. I don't Anne. even have any palettes. I don't even have any. Do you do makeup? I like to try, but yeah, I haven't had makeup in 
Hold on. 15, you, 20 years. You know, I say start easy. Like, go to TJ Maxx. Do you have a TJ Maxx in your area? I do. You know, that's that's one of the ways I started getting into makeup. I went to TJ Maxx, and I just look around and see a palette I liked and they're at a highly discounted rate. And I just snatch one up. I had the same palette that I used over and over for probably six months before I bought another one. Right. Right. Now I have about um, 300, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you last know what? Night what if you know my, if do you know my email? If you know my email or Instagram, message me, and I'll and I'll send you some makeup. I have a uh -huh. lot. I mean, new. It's new. I'll send you some, and then you can try and practice. And because uh -huh. that's how I got into. First of all, when I started YouTube, I had no money. I didn't know anything about makeup. Nothing. That's why I started mm -hmm. to get subscription boxes because I was like, I don't even know like what I like. I have no idea because right, you know, right. Right. And when when we did makeup back in the day, there was no contouring. What the hell's contouring? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. I mean, you I didn't even do your eye eyebrows. Eye you you right. just whacked them. You didn't, right. like, do how they do now. And hi, what was hi highlight? What the hell's a highlighter? I didn't no, know you, any you, of that I stuff. Didn't, you know? I didn't. I wore more makeup in the 80s than I do now. I'm, like, 53 years old now. And I was wanting to get back into some neutral. I like to hear... Um, the sheer kind of glimmery. I would, I'm not going to say glitter. What is it? Uh, <sighs> shimmer. You know, yes. ice up and, you know, things like that. But that's how, uh, would you want to like send phone numbers on Instagram or? Well, I don't give out my phone number, okay, but okay, okay. if you, if you, what we could do is you can message me and okay. then just tell me like it, what type of like, if you want neutral, whatever. And I'll just send you some, what you, what you don't like, you can give away what you like, you keep whatever, you know, you don't have to keep it or wear it if you don't like it, you know. All right, all right. Where do I go on Instagram to send a message? Um, so you would go to my, it's just Ann Rankin is my okay. uh, Instagram. And then you would go on there where it says like message and okay. you would click that and then just send me a little, it's a private message. Nobody will see it. Right. And then I'll know it's you. Okay. Just or you can go to her email that's in the description boxes of all our videos. She does have an email there oh, if it's easier. I'll probably email her. Yeah. 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 Email. There you go. And it's going to be in the, uh, in this on this live stream? Um, I don't know, but it's always on my about page. Like, so if you go on my channel and hit about, you'll see it's, it's right in there as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, that's awful sweet of you. Well, well I got so what, much makeup that I don't even use. And listen, if so, and it's new too. Listen, and if somebody can use it, I'd rather give it away. And that's the yeah. truth, you know? Yeah. I'm always looking for a good home for makeup too. My nieces usually eat it up. Like it's, if I, they'll call me or text me and be like, "Do you have any makeup you're getting rid of?" I'll be like, "Yeah, sure, come over, and I'll just get a box of it ready for them." Wow. <laughs> wow. But I quit getting subscription boxes. That's how I found out my likes and dislikes in makeup too was through subscription boxes. You could find out what formula you liked, what you didn't like. It was, it, you know, was like me. There's so many. I didn't have a clue which one to even go with. I well, mean, if you so if you want to just if you want to just try a few things, I think Ipsy Glam Bag for fourteen dollars is probably the best entry level bag, and it gives you sample sizes of makeup. Or if you want to try full size makeup, I think Boxy Charm by Ipsy for thirty dollars is an excellent investment as well. And it, you figure kind of out what you like and what you don't like. What do you think, Ann? Yeah, I I when people ask me what they should get. The first thing I say is, of course, Ipsy Glam Bag because, well, now it's, what, $14 a month. But you get yeah, to 14. try samples because if you don't like it or like the color, this way it's not a full size. You try and see what you like. I always say that. But I also like, I'm very keen with the indie, like the the uh, Ice Cream Beauty bag. That's $12.50. Um, mm -hmm. What but about that's I like that colorful. too. See, if you don't like color, you know, then, you mm -hmm. know, I, I wouldn't suggest that. Mm -mm. What about I would suggest MC too when you're when you don't love color. Yeah. What about the little um, bracelets that you can get? The little string bracelets and stuff. Those friendship bracelets? Is that what you're talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not sure about that. And yeah. what's that? Do you have any idea where you can get some the the friendship type bracelets? 
No, the only bracelets I wear now is like those anxiety bracelets and all that other mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. as far as the friendships, I don't know. Does anybody in the chat know? I'm looking. Oh, uh, Pura, P-U-R-A. Um, Mel says the Pura Vida, V-I-D-A bracelets. I hadn't heard of that. Thank you so much, Mel. Mm. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, I hope the weather stays good where you're at. And is anybody in the back? Yeah, that's why I'm just getting ready to let you down to bring somebody else up. It was really okay. nice to meet you. Don't nice forget to, to you. um you said you're gonna email me, so don't forget right. to email me, okay? And then we'll okay. talk we'll talk there. Definitely, definitely. All right. Have a great Bye. evening. All right, y'all too. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Well, that's so fun. Yay! We're getting better at this, Ann. You didn't hang up on her, throw her out of the chat. It was great. Okay, I think Cindy is next. Come on down, Cindy. In between, everybody, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. Thank you Hi, so much. Cindy. Hello. Hi, How Cindy. Trying to figure this out. <laughs> we all are. Listen, the only thing I figured out is how to put a picture in. Other than that, I'm in a black box like you guys. I have no idea. Same. How are you guys doing? Good. We're doing good. Hanging in there. It's snowing here, and we're in the. I'm in my chair, like my a cockpit, with my tablet in front of me and my phone in front of me in front of the tablet. So we're just like on alert. Yeah, it's not snowing yet. It's just cold. <laughs> oh, I bet. I, it, the cold's worse. The cold is worse than the snow. If it snows and just goes away, I'm happy with it. But when it stays cold, I'm like, ugh, no. Yeah. And do you like the cold or that? Do you like summer or winter better? I like summer. I was, you know, I can't do two things at once. I was trying to answer a question on the chat and said, I'll put the link in the chat in a second. I, you know, I can't do two things. Cindy, do you prefer winter or summer? Do you have all four seasons where you're at? Yeah, I'm in Ohio. Um, we oh, have yeah. That's um, cool. I like the spring and fall. <laughs> I like spring the best, too, because for me, I always say this, and it kind of sounds weird, but it's the rebirth time. You know, everything starts coming up. All Everything starts turning green. And that's my time of the year because I love flowers. Oh, so you like spring the best. Yes, ma'am. If I could live in continuous spring, I would. I think if I had to pick out of all four, it probably will be fall. I like fall weather. Fall weather. I like right. the way it, the colors, the leaves change colors and like all of that, you know, and just, I don't know. I just like it. Cindy, uh, how did you find Anne from the vlog channel or from the beauty channel? From the beauty channel. Me too. Me too. Do you watch the vlog channel? Yeah, I watch all her videos. <laughs> Me and you both. Glad to have you. I was just wondering, because I always wonder, how did you get here? Did you get here through the beauty? Whatever. Yeah, I, I sent Anne a necklace for her Christmas, and I guess she didn't get it. It must have fell out of her letter or something. Yes, um, because I double-checked. I got your... um. I got the handwritten letter because, you know, I emailed you back and then I looked, I looked everywhere and I did not see it. I'm like, did somebody open it? Because I, I would have wore it. Uh, you know, Lori sent me earrings. I wear them on almost every video. I would have 100% wore the necklace and stuff. One of my terrible. friends, one of my friends that I sent something to over this holiday, it was completely lost and they said they delivered it. I was blessed because the people I bought it from went ahead and resent it back out. But I think it was the time of year, maybe you know, maybe some postal people were getting a little handsy with the mail. I don't know, but I felt terrible. I, re I really, really did because I hate that. Yeah, I um, I'm I'm gonna resend it though. Yes, and, and let me know. Like, email me and tell me that you sent it, and I'll keep an eye out. But I'll definitely wear it and stuff. I I, I mean, I feel terrible, but that's so kind of you to want to make me a necklace. Really. Oh, that yeah. is. That's really nice. Thank I you. always, I tell Lisa all the time, Lisa is my witness all the time. I say, Lisa, how did I get so blessed? I she mean, does. I only, I, and I'm not just saying like, even if it's five people, like just that want to watch my channel, because when, see, when I started the channel, I was 40, just about to turn 41. So I started in February, my birthday's in April. So damn near 41. And I was very, very depressed 
And I didn't know anything about YouTube. I was, I only started watching YouTube maybe six months prior. And, and how I found that out was Lexi was wearing braces at the time. And Lexi was getting a cleaning, you know, you go every month and stuff. And they were talking about Ipsy. So I didn't want to look stupid. I just played it off and act like I knew what they were talking about. I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. I go home and I Google Ipsy. Okay. And it said subscription box or whatever. So I go into YouTube, never went into YouTube before I had to download the app. And the first person who came up was Abby from Abadabs and she was doing her hundred subscriber giveaway and she was doing Ipsy and then also Lisa Stroop. Remember Lisa Stroop? Absolutely. She was, did all the boxes. Yes. And that's how I found out. And what was my point? Why did I start talking about this? We were talking about how you got into YouTube. Oh yeah. yes. And so I said, so it was about and how blessed months. you are. Well, and then when I talked to Abby, she was like, you should start a channel. So I remember saying, this was my point. Tyler at the time was 21. And I said, I think I'm going to start YouTube. And do you know what he said to me? I do. I can't make this up. He goes, why would you want to start a YouTube? Nobody's going to watch you. This is what he said. And he was so serious. He was like, you're old. This is what he said to me. He was so serious. And I'll tell you what. I'll never forget when I got to about 30,000 subscribers, I showed him because my kids, they don't watch YouTube. They're not on YouTube. He had to call me and say, you know what, mom, mom, I'm really sorry, <laughs> but I had to prove him wrong. That's why I started. That's the reason why I started a channel. But my point is, I didn't even think I would get to 100 subscribers. And that is the God's honest truth. I thought nobody's going to watch me. Who's going to watch me? I don't know anything about makeup. I don't know anything. I'm not professional because I thought everybody had to be professional. And, um, well, it was said in the chat by one love, you are relatable and, and you are, that is the one thing about you. You're very, oh, very relatable. Thank you. Well, I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just very, very blessed. And I appreciate every single one of you, even, even my haters. Let's just keep that real. I really, really appreciate all you guys. And you yeah, guys I'm getting ready to say, going. if you don't have haters, you are not doing anything right. Yes. Who was it? I think it was Cat Williams or no, Denzel Washington said, if you don't have people talking about you, that's when you need to be scared and worried. When they stop saying your name. That's that right. right. Tara, did you hear that? When people stop talking about you, that's when you need to be worried. Let people talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. That's right. They're still talking about you. That means they're living rent. You're living rent free in their head. And another thing, the haters, they give you all the watch time. They watch all of your videos, you know? So really we need to thank the haters. And Tara knows what I'm talking about. Tammy, you're right. Haters give analytics and help them out. You're absolutely right. Yes. Watch it. Watch. They're your full watch people. If they hate you, they watch your whole video. They want to make sure they didn't hear or miss anything. Now, Cindy, you have a channel, right? Because in your letter, you said you have a channel. What is your channel about? It's uh, reviews. I do hauls for like uh, Timu and uh, Dollar Tree and stuff. Oh, cool. I love Dollar Tree. I don't I, go enough. I was nervous about starting it because I'm 44. I thought oh, I'm older. Nobody's going to watch my channel. I didn't think I was going to get 100 subscribers and I'm up to 600 now. There oh, you go. Amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> that's good. I mean, it, you know, I had a channel for a short time and Ann really helped me out to figure out what I was doing. And she gave me shout outs and people hated it. And I got to a thousand really quick and I laughed about it. I ended up stopping my channel because it just made me too nervous. I don't know why it did. I thought I gave myself a job. Yeah, Lisa oh. calls me so upset. She goes, Ann, <laughs> she thought I was going to be mad. She I goes, did. She goes, I don't want to do YouTube anymore. And I said, well, then don't do it. Why? I would never be upset, you know? She did. But I thought oh, you, okay. you shouted me out. You've told me behind the scenes, told me a million things. I've called her hysterical. I can't get the camera to work. My shirt's backwards. I don't know what's going on. All of it. And Amber always say, calm down. This is what you do. And then I thought I'm going to quit. And she's going to think, well, whatever. And I, but you know, it was for my own mental health. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping it helps with my depression and stuff too. 
Well, for me, I have anxiety and depression. And for some reason, doing YouTube really heightened my anxiety level. And I thought, well, you give yourself a job and you don't even need one. Quit. And I did. But I love Instagram. I'm over there all the time. I put pictures up, all that good stuff. So that's my thing. That's why I started on Instagram and then I did YouTube and then I went back to Instagram because it just feels better for me. I, I've been depressed since t I started it. I, I started about two years ago, but I really didn't start posting until last year. I've been depressed since, since 2018. My, my mom was in a nursing home and they killed my mom and they got away with it because I couldn't find a lawyer to take the case. And my oh, mom I'm so sorry. I am really sorry. You have our Thank deepest you. condolences. Thank you. My mom had recordings. She was right in her mind. She went in for cellulitis of her legs. She was only 56. Oh, and my she, goodness. She had, she was right in her mind. She was recording them, leaving her on the bedpan for eight hours at a time and still in her pain meds and everything. You know, I, some nursing homes just aren't, aren't, aren't worth the darn. And that's for sure. I'm just so sorry that happened to you. Thank you. I lost my mom 12 years ago and I, I don't think I ever really got over it. I don't think ever, I don't think we ever will. They're our mother, our father, you know, it, it, you don't get over things like that. Time does not heal all wounds. That, that is so true. I mean, when I had my heart attack, I cried because I wanted my mom here. I you was five years old and I cried because I wanted my mom to say it's going to be all right. Absolutely. So we're never to, we always want our mom and need our mom. If we have a good relationship with her, you know, your mother, I know not everybody does, but like, mom, dad, the grandma, grandpa, whoever it was in your life that was there for you in the bad times. We always want them. You always want them. That's for sure. I'm really sorry that happened to you. Thank you. Well, and, and you too. Well, listen, YouTube helps me so much. That's why with my vlog channel, I started my vlog channel. And some people think say I get too personal, but let me tell you, it helps to talk about it. And when I hear people say, I understand, or like you, Cindy, I lost my mom, like Lisa, I lost my mom. And we all feel like I don't feel so alone. And I hope that's what helps you. If you have one person that watches you, I, you don't know what you can do to that one person. I always say that it's not about the number of subscribers or the views you get. And, 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 and I mean, you know, if you want to look at it, like if you're looking for PR and all this other kind of stuff or what have you, let's just keep it real. But you got to do it because you love it. You can reach meant seriously what you're going through. And I always tell people, share your story, share your story and talk about it. You know, absolutely. Take your platform. And while you're doing a haul, talk about your mom or talk about good times. Talk about things that happened. It'll help you. It really will. I planned on trying to get up to a thousand subscribers by may by my birthday and hopefully i will but um uh after i do that and get that channel monetized i'm probably gonna start a vlog channel too oh that well, would be fun what is your channel name uh it's cindy's for reviews correct cindy reviews for you the number oh, four cindy reviews for you so if you guys want to check her out again that was cindy reviews for you and is there anybody in the backstage well that's what i was just going to do tira has been waiting patiently oh. so I, cindy i'm going to let you get off okay. here and pick tira up thank you so much for coming right. up thank and, you and uh, make sure you write in the chat so people can see your channel name and stuff okay absolutely bye all right bye. thanks cindy bye 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 Okay, Tim. In between here, everybody, if you haven't hit that like button, please do. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. And the things you're saying in the chat, I'm trying to read them at the same time. And you guys are also wonderful and supportive. Thank you. Hi, Hi ladies. Tira. Hello, Tyra. Hi, Tira. How are you? Is it Tyra um, or Tira? It's Tira, yeah. Tira. And so Tira. Sorry. And Todd, yeah. No, it's okay. Um, I know I'm looking real shameless plug right now, but you have Be to know shameless, that. Sis. Be shameless, sis. Be shameless. No, like the nails are my jam. But I will say I have a brand new phone, and it was the only picture I had. And Lisa, seeing you with no picture makes me crazy. I can't be a white dot. I'm I going to teach you, you I promise. She Thank you. It out. Listen, I just learned to cut and paste it's within the last easy. three years. It's real easy when you go into StreamYard before uh -huh. you click like enter StreamYard. It says okay. edit avatar. Oh, well, that sounds yep. easy as heck. Yep. Yep. Before you come in and just so you know, once you edit that, it'll stay there. Oh, good deal. Thank you. Yeah. It'll stay there until you want to change it. Yeah. So there's I, that. I appreciate that. And then everybody in here that thinks we got a, a war going on with Tira, we do not. 
No. We absolutely don't. We've all said things that are not polite to each other. And we've all been, you know, itches with a B. But we are all on 2024 and moving forward. Amen. Absolutely. I love that for all of us. I love hearing that, you know, you guys are on that too. Not that I don't see that, but you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's amazing. Um, and now that you have a platform that I can publicly say something, right? Um, I want, I want you to know how much I appreciate because I'm very much like you. I think we know how much we're really alike now at this point, three years into the game. Um, how much I appreciate you going to bat, even though it was Tira, and then you ended up losing all them friends. Like, that means a lot to me. And if it was, like, video worthy or, um, you know what I'm saying, it, it deserves more than a short, like, I would have totally said that publicly. But, like, now I want you to know how much I appreciated that. Because you you didn't have to do that. And it caused you so much trouble. Girlfriend, they weren't friends of hers. Or I, they would still be here right Lisa, now. Lisa, you know I'm with you, boo. You know I'm with you. I'm co-signing it all day. You know I'm but the pit bull. He so didn't have to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, I've tried to tone it down saying? some. I've tried to tone it down some, but... Yeah, I'm working on yeah, myself. you're a, you're mean, Lisa. You're so yeah. mean, but you know what? I adore you. I really do. Oh, I really cool. just do. You know, you you live and you learn. That's what you do. Yeah, I don't absolutely. I don't react as quickly anymore as I used to. And I, I, still, have, I still have somebody down in the YouTube oh, street. I know, I know you will in these YouTube street. And I don't, um, you know, do a lot of things. I'm not as naive as I was before. You know, very that. So I think we've all learned so much in three years on YouTube because this is a hell of a place. Tyra, how do you know? Oh, how do you take down that banner that she's got up there? That somebody's wanted to change it or take it down. I don't know how you do that. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I I don't understand, and I'm saying this because I'm I've been a streamer for two years, and I'm not trying to offend nobody. Please You're know not. that this is my opinion. Chat is really concerned with what Anne isn't doing, and I need chat to understand how hard it is. To have oh, this is a trial run. Right? This is only our second time on here. It's right, everybody. Right. If what we're not doing right, give us six months, give us three months. We'll know a lot more. This is just new to Absolutely. everybody. Absolutely. And Anne, you just got to go in the studio. You could slow down your chat before every stream because you have a large chat. True. You know what I'm saying? Click, well, they say click on the comment, but I am. It says Liz Garza, and but it's not doing anything where it says I can remove it. Mm -hmm. well, don't worry you about don't it. don't remove it. You don't remove it. All you got to do is click on the one you want up next. Oh, but yeah, also, touch, the, like, touch the, somebody's yeah, comment. Tap the next one. Yeah, just tap the next one. You don't have to remove it. You also, like, chat needs to understand that, like, you're going to run your streams your way. We don't even know how to run them yet. <laughs> well, a I, bit also of don't, I think it's important people know they shouldn't dictate that. And that's the second thing I came well, up here to I say. I think what it was, it, I think if the comment is like real long, they can't see like the name, like they don't know it's Lisa Smith or whatever. Right, right. Oh, Just you, you, there, you got it. Take, okay, I see what's happening. Got you. Take a, take a comment off the screen. Just tap it again. There's no remove button. Tap the, tap the comment. That's what I'm doing. What, you oh, changed what did it. I do? Oh, now I hit where I did something to myself. Hold on, let me exit. You're still here. You didn't do nothing to yourself. I think you're here. <laughs> I did so so how's the weather up in your neck of the woods? Um, uh, 2024, and that's uh -oh. what we're doing over here in my neck of the woods. That's oh. what I'm talking about. Yeah, 2024, and. Let it me is. just say this to Tira. You know, I, I really, here's the thing. When I talked uh, uh what was a year and a half ago when a particular person was mom shaming you okay uh -huh. and now you know we didn't get along and that's fine right i am the type right, right is right is wrong is wrong and Fair i don't enough. want listen everybody makes mistakes and nobody's perfect and what gets me is people that didn't live our life 
didn't hang with people we hung with, don't understand when they sit there in their home that's never been arrested, never lived uh, in a gang uh, or uh, friends yeah. in that lifestyle in the projects, lo- whatever the case may be, they don't mm-hmm. get it. And they people don't. are quick to judge. And people judged me my whole life by ha- live, raising my kids in the projects, having three kids by three different men, uh, l- getting in trouble, having felonies, going to jail, having armed robberies. I can go on and on and on. OK, uh, they call me a crackhead. All of this stuff. People judge. OK, and it pissed me off. And especially a man. Mommy. I know. I and know. Girl. Thought, I don't know why people thought this, but what happened was. They thought I was talking to you behind the scenes, which I was not. I don't know why people thought this. So they thought I was being shamed. So they assumed. They assumed as perhaps the things. Mm -hmm. And I'm... it could be my worst enemy if you, right is right and wrong is wrong. And I felt okay. strongly how I felt. And then I would do it all over again. And just like what happened with your son, and I'm not going to bring that up. I know that's a hurt, hurt, right. that's hurtful, yeah. but I would do that again. What, right is right and wrong is wrong. Fair and enough. I don't have to like people. I mean, I don't have nothing against you, Tara, but I'm just saying in general, I... And I think people need to stand up more. Just because you don't like somebody when you know something is wrong, stop it. And and then all these other people that co-signed this. Oh, I was just going to say you took the words out of my mouth. Oh, I'm getting mad thinking about it. Don't yeah. get mad, everybody. Let's um, race 2024. We're we'll winning. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. But We're yeah, but I, 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 I do want to say, you know. I, I, thank you. I really do appreciate that. But no, it came from the heart and I would do it all over again. And don't do nothing she don't want to do. If, and if she feels it, she's going to do it. That's the bottom no. line with that. And I believe that, but like how shitty that people stop being her friend because she stood up for they something. Her real that friends. Was it really was time wrong. for her to find out who wasn't her friends. That was and, what that and don't was. Don't you love how the world works when it comes to that stuff, Anne? Yeah. Especially when it comes right when it comes to YouTube. Because I think from jump you were friends with some shitty people. I think you know what I'm saying, and that's just my well, opinion. We've all been friends with shitty people. Absolutely. I think all the same shitty people we were all Absolutely. friends with at one time or another. Isn't that no, right? Not me. Everything's a learning lesson, right? <laughs> it is. It really is. It really is. I yeah. learned who was there from in general, and I know everybody in the chat can understand this. One of my hardest, hardest times was the year of 2019. What happened with Lexi? Yes. And my mom, all my of that. Girl. And I was in a mental space that I didn't realize that even on this channel, right? I, everything, every subscription box, boxy lock sucks. And I was just so negative. I didn't know I was in that headspace because I didn't know until one of the doctors told me that I was suffering from PTSD. Why? Because my mother was in this home and this is the house I lived in and I had to stay with her for four hours before they picked her up and all this other kind of stuff that I don't want to get involved. So I didn't know I was struggling as bad as I was mentally. And when people leave you, when you're at your worst, that's when you know who's not a friend. When people gang up on you at your worst, that's when you know. Absolutely. And I'm I'm glad I went through the stuff I went. I don't want to ever go through that stuff again, but I learned the hard way. That what doesn't yeah. kill us makes us stronger. Right. Absolutely. I, it might take me a few months. It might take me a couple of years. Girls, you mean. But, like, I will find the positive and I will say, okay, enough is enough. And I've learned the lessons I need to learn and I'll never make these mistakes again. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we all do this. I mean, we all grow as people. As we grow older, we get more experience in life and we learn so much more. We learn that jumping on everybody for everything isn't always good. In fact, it reflects your character. I'm speaking for myself. I have had my character reflected quite poorly because of things I've done. But you know what? You live and you learn. And still to this day, if I get real good and mad. I'll let somebody have it. <laughs> good and mad. I love it. Good and mad. Love Real good and mad. Yes. Yeah. I will let them have it because, and I try to just stay away from negativity. If I don't like somebody, I just don't watch their channel anymore. Same. I learned that. Same. Yep. It's difficult though. Every once in a while, I'd be tearing on a hedgehog over there and his tribe and lunatics. And I, I just get mad. So, and, and he blocks everybody. I don't understand that part of YouTube. 
I'm going to say your name and talk bad about you and block you at the same time so you can't say nothing back. Right. And then they complain because you have a sock account. What? I got to have a sock account or I can't cuss you back. (laughs) I got to have two or three that have been subscribed to you for five days (laughs) or whatever. Like, and then people are like, why you got a sock account? Well, because you won't let me in with my real account anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Lisa, can I, I ask you an honest question? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, and I only point. ask, I only ask because I think it's important, right? Because Absolutely. it's like a good point to make. Um, would you say, because I would say back when you were this mean Lisa that I knew, right? I would yes, say ma'am. you were in t- some toxic communities, do you No, think- you know, I really wasn't. I really wasn't. Okay. I was toxic myself because of depression. Okay. okay. And I was in, I, when you're in a bad place, it's easy to lash out. Wow. Did you okay, here's another here's another question then. Did you find yourself going to toxic communities because you were being toxic? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I want to okay. say something to you. When I met you, I probably was at one of my lower points. And I just want to say, I really do apologize for those terrible things I said. I didn't know you at all. And I said some terrible things to you. And I'm very sorry about that. And I hope someday you're able to forgive me. Lisa, you've already apologized. That shit's dead in the water. If I I forgive anybody, I don't hold grudges. None of the things. It is what it is. I learned a lesson from you too, Lisa. I learned a lesson. You were my first quote unquote troll (laughs) and you very much, no, for real, I'm being honest. You very much opened me up to the ugly of YouTube. Well, I hate that I was the one that did it. I I really know what though, compared to who you were, that's all that matters. Right. But you taught me a grave lesson. There are going to be people that are willing to say things you would never say. And these things are hurtful and they come from a place of hate and someone okay. online who feel that way for you. And it's like, okay, this is a new ball game that, you know what I'm saying? You opened me up to start even. You know what the sad part is? You know what the sad part is? Is right I wasn't even mad at you. I was just <laughs> running my mouth. I was just running my mouth. That was all. I wasn't even, I didn't know you. I couldn't be mad at you. You are mean, Lisa. You're a mean Beyonce. I will say in Lisa's defense, also, Lisa was going through some stuff, but I, when it came to that stuff with the thumbnail situation, and what people also did not know is I wasn't in a good marriage. I didn't say it publicly, but also my mom was dying and different things, and I didn't put a lot of that out there. And when I was accused of something I didn't do and just a lot of things, I, I lost my mind. Lisa, and I said, Lisa, I just feel like drinking. And that made me very um, angry. And I, I'm willing to go to the mattresses. And it's it, it's not a good trait. I'm not I, I know this. I know it's not a good trait. And that's how we learn. But I, I had no hate for you, Tyra. I've never had no t- hate for you. I didn't know you. I was just attacking you because you said something crazy to Ann. That's it. And I know it turned into more than that, but keeping it a hundred, no hate for you ever. I don't hate you. I do. I just don't. And I didn't then that was just, that's a part of me that I can pull out. I think all of us, everybody in the chat has that person that they can pull out of them. That can be a real itch with a B and yeah. I can be that. And it, it, I didn't hate you and it was wrong. And I do apologize. And I hope we can move past it. I know you do. And it actually, it makes me feel better to know that like, it wasn't a hateful place. That is scary to me that you could hate me for one thing that I've said, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I was. I mean, did you see me chase chase Alex? I chased Alex to every place she ever went. She couldn't even leave a comment. Oh my God. When she did that to Anne with that thumbnail, I got on her Instagram and I didn't even know how to copy and paste. I spent an entire night sending everybody on her Instagram the the uh, the message that she put out about Black Lives Matter. And it she had like two or 2,500 followers. Oh, I and I individually that. did each one of them. It took me all night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Lisa. That's when I'm mad. Savage. I was you mad are, then. 
Savage. Yeah, don't, and, don't, and it was like, because I she, love it in you, though. I love it in her. I love it in her. You know, I'm gangster as hell, dude, and I'm all about that, like, stick up for yourself life. Like, dude, you're savage as fuck, So That's gangster as hell, man. I hold up for my friends, maybe to a fault. You, sure do. you definitely do that. And that's yeah, maybe to a fault. A character. Maybe to a fault. I'm loyal to a fault. So, hey. Yep. I mean, it is what it is, and it's not what it's not. I own everything I've done. And, you know, I'm on here tonight, and my dog died two days ago that I had for 12 oh, years. So and it, it's been a rough couple of days. And Ann said, why don't you come on a live? And I said, okay, I'm going to oh, do that. Cool. Live streams make everything better. They really do. If I wasn't over here with five videos on deck, I would have been live already this new year. But I'm, you, they really do. They make things better. And I'm just like, oh, my God, Anna's going live at 9. I am taking a freaking break. But they do. They make everything better. They really do. I don't oh, mean to interrupt you. you. Yeah. And do you have anybody in the back? I do. There's. Um... We're, we're learning. I, we, we've got this little system where every little while I'm supposed to say that. We're supposed to figure it out. We're trying. You know what, though? You guys are doing a great job. Thanks. Like, Lisa, you're doing a really good job helping her. And, you know, I'm glad we got to talk, Tyra. Well, I really am. Tira, I'm glad. We, I yeah. can't say your name the right way to save my life, <laughs> Tira. But I'm glad that we got to when talk. it's going to get easier, guys. And last thing I have to tell you is you got to be careful when you let people up. Because I promise you, dude. There are men who go around the internet so they can put their pee pee in your. Don't speak shoes. them into existence. Don't do that. No, no, okay, no. Okay, okay, but I. I, I need... That's in the Bible. The talk of your tongue. No, I look at. Uh -huh. I can see. Damn I'm man. sorry. I just have to tell you. Oh, I'm I so sorry. Hear me. I would be mortified. No, I can well, see. Well, and you can get in trouble on YouTube for well, we having. Can see we can see who's on the backstage, and she can make him show him her picture. And you know, that's I mean, what even, I was just gonna say, just yeah. ask them to show their face, and they could. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Just want to give we a little bite. Bye, ladies. It was so Bye. good to talk Thank to you. Have you a great too. night. Okay. That was I fun. hope you're still here, Fash, a Fab Beauty. I can't say that three times real fast. I hope you're still here. I'm sorry. I've seen you on there, but I wanted Lisa and Tara to talk. Okay. So Thank you so much, Joe. I really appreciate it. It's been a rough time for my family. Okay. Fash, Fab All Beauty. All of you. Thank you. Here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> she probably got off. She's been on for a so She's long. there. Are you here? Maybe you have your microphone off. And drop the link. Okay. I'm Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, everybody. And I'm going to drop her real quick. Okay. She was a good girl. She was a German shepherd. Her name was Abby. And she was my life. And I miss her dearly. It's It's been a rough few days. Yes, it has. Thank you, Anne, for being there for me. You're a soldier because I'm hard to deal with. No, you're not. Oh, please. If you listen, I've always told you, you have stuck by me at my worst times. There were times Lisa would say, oh, it's beautiful out. And I would say, <laughs> no, it's not. No, it is not. It is horrible. It's only 84 degrees out. What do you oh, mean? I got, it, it's cloudy. I got something to tell you. Back during uh, the pan, panini, well, we're not going to say the word because we don't want this to get struck. But um, my husband was laid off from work. Just about everybody was. And I told <laughs> Ann, I said, I called her up and my turn. I said, Ann, I said, they're going to give him an extra $600 a week. And Ann said, well, that's just not right. They're just taking money from people and giving it to other people. And then she called me back and was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. She said, I do not know why I said that. I said, well, because if I say it's bright, it's dark. And that was just oh, how it was. was right there. I felt nothing. Listen to me. Nothing was was like I could think of anything positive. I mean, I literally said, "Well, who's going to pay that money back?" <laughs> I mean, how dumb. If anybody knew me, I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Like, <laughs> that's what I was like. I was like, "Ann's sick. There's something wrong with her today." But you no, knew, it's true. Lisa. Me and Ann fight like sisters. We do. We and really you knew did. what I was going through, and you, uh, yeah, you absolutely. didn't take it personally. And there was times Ann didn't happened. call me for four or five days in a row, and I'd send her a message, be like, "Send a smoke signal. Just tap in any letter, so I know you're alive." She'd tap in an M, and then I talked <laughs> to her in three or four days, and it would be all good because you know when people are going through stuff. You have got to just give them their space. I was in a and, and you know here's the thing. I would come on my beauty channel because, and I wasn't being fake. 
when I would get a subscription box or something, I really liked makeup and stuff. So it would put me in a good mood. I know. As soon as I would stop it, I would get on my bed that you guys see, you know, when I'm filming and I would cry. And then I remember the heat didn't work. So then I would just sit there and cry every little thing. And then you guys, now you guys know I wasn't in a great marriage. So that was also hurtful. It just so Is much anybody in the back more. end? I don't mean to interrupt no. you. Okay, no. just making sure. Did you drop um, that link? I missed it. I did. Okay. Sorry. And I, I I was just not a good and I understand why people didn't want to be around me. I 100 percent get that. But I do appreciate the people that stayed. Well, and as Tara said, I'm not sunshine and roses all the time either. I mean, everybody that sees me thinks that, you know, I, I've got a great life, everything. You know, I do have a nice life, but I can be bitter. I can be mean. I can be cold and I can be loving. I think we can all do that, you know, for sure. And we have to just stand with our people. Mm -hmm. that's how i feel i mean you know it's just i'm trying to look at the chat too you know good times bad times let's talk about something else what is something that's coming out put it in the chat guys a piece of makeup something that's coming out that you think that you want to buy so we can see what good is coming out anybody know anything good uh, you know what? I don't know because I don't really buy me. I, I mean, I get my subscription boxes, but as far as makeup, I have. Who would have known that I'm into skincare now? Like, I have no idea. Well, if you don't have a good base to start with, everything you put on is going to be messed up. I learned that real quick. Mm -hmm. I, I literally took five years off my face with a year of skincare. Yeah. I did for sure. I mean, I look younger. I looked five years younger than I did when I started. And it's not like it was a miracle. It's just a routine, you know, doing a routine every night. I usually do a double cleanse, a toner, a vitamin C serum. And then, you know, if I need any kind of treatments, you know, like my pink dots and I use salicylic acid because at 55, I still break out. And, oh yeah, one good thing to buy in your palette. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. I, just I forgot. Came back and talk today. I know that's amazing. I'm so glad you have more of them. I, I think I'm going to get a backup because i have a feeling i'm going to go through some of them shimmer shadows pretty quick i that frost i can see me panning that easy yes dolphins girl we could talk about documentaries i do have a question to ask okay what do you now this might be um what is the word uh you know not everybody agrees i can't think of the word not your cup of tea but what uh, what do you guys think of the gyp gypsy rose? Have you guys been following her? Let me know. You, you want my answer first, or do you? Do you <laughs> yeah, we could agree to disagree. Uh, me and Lisa dis agree to disagree all the time. We disagree yes, we about do. this a little bit. And we will yeah. actually say we're going to agree to disagree, and then we just move on with the other subject. Controversial. Uh, that's the word. Thank you. Sorry, yeah. Lisa. Go ahead. You know, with Gypsy, um, I followed her case in the beginning, and what she did, how she was treated, was wrong. But I don't, I never believe she should go to jail. I believe she should go to a mental hospital for a time and get her life straight. But she did do eight years. So I think she's done her time and I'm happy that she's out. And because I think that this is the first time she's ever been free in her entire life ever. What do you guys think? Somebody hit that link and come up and tell us. Um, Dolphins girl, it says device is not connected. I don't know what that means. So it won't let me click click you to um add you to state stage okay we'll try um, to drop a link again and see if it changes it Anne. this is a trial um, run okay she's gonna try to drop that link again. A message uh no since i've been on here i haven't checked anything but i will check you okay. think gypsy rose is very troubled because of her abuse sarah and you're praying for her? i am too I, I i stand right there with that idea too i absolutely do and i don't know if the young man had problems too. And I know he got a life sentence and I, I don't know that he should have got a life sentence. Although I do think that it, that's more controversial. Now here's my opinion. This is where we agree to disagree. Hold on, Jerry. I, that's fine. I, we can agree to disagree. I totally understand. If you want to hit that link, you can tell us why. Go on, Ann. So I feel, I don't think she was as, um, I think she was more involved than what she portrays. I don't think, I, I understand the trauma. Listen, I understand why she wouldn't want her mother to be alive. 100%. I think she was mistreated. I do not, I think she should have probably went to a mental hospital. I do not think she should have got life or anything like that. I understand. But I also feel she could have stopped it. She is the one, if she, if she didn't put it in the guy's head, 
it wouldn't have happened. I also feel she's the one who left the knife out on the porch. I also feel she was in the bathroom when it happened. She could have stopped it. Those are all facts. Those are all facts. And I have seen the pictures where she appears to know a lot more than the innocent. I feel she knew, she knew how to get online and find people to talk to people, guys. Um, but I also- uh, And I have to interrupt you. It says, I got a message that says, Anne can't chat with you tonight. Um, she is stuck. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so, since this is a trial run, I'm going to talk to the chat while you try to figure out what's going on with that, Anne, okay? I, I don't know what that's about, so I have no idea. Well, check your settings. No, it's not me. I don't know. She says she oh, okay. A, a okay. Can't chat with I could chat with anybody. I don't know why it's, that, that Okay. Says. Is anybody in the backstage? Um, Mel Disney. Let's Let's bring you up. Let's have a look at her picture first. If there's no picture, so we'll just say. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm not echoing, am I? No. no. Okay, good. Oh, my gosh. What's up, Anne? Hi. How are you? You know, I I could, I, you know, my response to that in the store when the, when the cashiers ask me, depending on my mood, I'm like, I'm terrible, but how are you? You know, type of thing. <laughs> but you guys are so positive and honest. And Anne, I've been watching you. When did you, I think you started before 2019, but I know I've been watching you at least that long. And, you know, like everybody says, you were just awesome. And just keep doing what you're doing, girl. So. Oh, thanks. I started February of 2017. Oh, it was 17. And I, I started when I, oh gosh, in that dining room. Oh, if you guys remember back yeah. then. In the dining room with Nala trying to get my socks off. And I was so nervous. I talked so, I mean, you want, oh gosh. Everybody go back and make sure to watch Anne's first video. No, 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 I want no, everybody no, in the no, chat no, after no. we're done here to go no. back and watch Anne's. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I, I can't even look. First of all, let me, you want to hear something? Okay. It, Mel, is that your name, Mel? I don't want to call you the wrong. Is it Mel? It's Melissa. Yeah. Mel. Melissa. Mel okay. Melissa. First of all, so when I started YouTube, when I was very depressed, right, you, you know, I have thinning hair and stuff. So I didn't know anything about hair fi fibers or anything. And I just started to start getting into ponytail. No, no. At that time, I didn't even wear ponytails. Good so night, I, Patricia. I would just look at the camera straight. I wouldn't turn my head. And I was so nervous. I was sweating. It was terrible. I cannot. She I looked like she was being held hostage to do the video, basically. Yeah, I did. She looked like she was in Taken. And they were holding <laughs> a gun on her and saying, you're going to say this about this boxy charm or we're going to shoot you. That's what's going to happen in this thing. It was so funny. But, you know, but back then, I didn't know what I didn't know that what professional was. You've turned into a professional, Anne. Melissa, let me tell you this. Lisa, one time, she gets on the phone and she starts like not yelling at me. She goes, how hard? Because when I tried to show swatches, okay, I, every time I tried to put it in the camera, it wasn't even. And she goes, well, how hard is it to swatch? I don't understand why people just can't hold it up. And <laughs> I did. She used to give me Girl, such a hard time. And I used to say, Lisa, it's harder than what you think. When Lisa started her channel. Melissa, let's go back. Wait, Ann, I didn't cut you off. Melissa, when Ann was at the hospital with one of her relatives, I'm not going to say who, she couldn't uh, talk on the phone. She could only listen. And so she couldn't speak because people were asleep. And so I decided that I was going to show her what was in my purse. And I thought I was a smarty pants and you couldn't see anything. And I was like, oh, Ann, I was like, how do you do this? <laughs> you couldn't see nothing. I mean, I was trying to show her a wallet and I couldn't even get that in the picture. Then I started YouTube. Go ahead, Ann. Yeah. And then I, I loved every minute because if you know Lisa, Lisa does not apologize or admit when she's wrong. So oh, Lisa says. And I'm so sorry. I'll never say that again. I wish I would have recorded it. Uh, I always apologize when I'm wrong. I apologize even when I don't think I'm wrong. She's not being honest. <laughs> Melissa, don't listen to that. <laughs> anyway, how are you, Melissa? I'm okay. I'm curious. So are you guys on Reddit? I'm not. I am not I, because I'm scared I'm going to see my name and something's bad. But other than that, but you tell me what what's going on. Okay. So have you heard that? All this, this viral, the new, so you know, the company Sol de Janeiro, right? With the yes. bum bum cream. Yes. yes. Well, they just came out with a new one. Mm -hmm. The purple one. To replace one. the Coco Cabana. Yeah, the purple. And people were putting um, reviews 
on the website and on I think on Ulta saying that it attracts wolf spiders. I wow. saw oh my that. God, people went nuts. I didn't Believe see that on Reddit, true. but I did see that. That's ridiculous. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't even think it's for sale yet, even on the Sol de Janeiro side. I mean, it, is. People... it just went. It just went live recently. Wait, let's just say ago. it just went. Went no, it didn't go live a couple of days ago because I've been trying to buy it. Okay, I've been well, maybe before. Today. Maybe today it did because I haven't looked. But I've been I collect those sprays, and I've been trying to buy it. I tried to buy it at the at Sol de Janeiro last night, and I tried to buy it at Sephora, and they both said out of stock because it wasn't in stock yet. But that's just wild that people are saying it's to. to why would anybody make something to attract a wolf spider? Well, because look, because it went viral. Now they're now they're famous. Isn't that wild? Yeah. How, think, how something so crazy go viral? Now yeah. I don't have TikTok, but do you think it like started from TikTok or something like that, and then it went on, or do you think somebody just made it up and it just got popular and people went with it? Yeah, no, somebody definitely the the user made it up, and she also started. Um, she also said the same thing like a year ago. So this is not a first time offense. She said it about a different product. Well, you know, that's this one all of a sudden is the one that's gone viral. You but, know, that for fame, people will say just almost anything for fame. You know, it's just sad, honestly. I mean, I'm not, I definitely don't work for Sol de Janeiro. I collect Sol de Janeiro and I love all their scents. So if it attracts wolf spiders, I guess I'm going to have wolf spiders. Because <laughs> I've been trying to buy it. Listen, I, and, and I'm snitching on myself because I know my husband's there thinking, what's she trying to buy? What? He doesn't even know about the Sephora kit I bought just a few hours before coming on this live. Kid is back in at Sephora, has three full-size products, two minis. It's killer for $34. If you've got 34 and you need some lipstick, go over there and get it. Well, you deserve it. You need some retail therapy. You deserve I it. I do. I do. But, you know, I just bought the Beautylish bag. And my husband was like, I spent $300 in one day. I was like, I needed a wallet. Okay. Oh, who bought the Beauty? Did anybody buy a Beautylish Lucky Bag? I this did. will be my first one. Do you, you Melissa, do you know what a Beautylish Lucky Bag is? I've heard. I'm, act I'm currently... Um, yeah, unemployed, and I have like a five-year backlog, no joke, of subscription box stuff. So, oh. well, the list bag is one time a year, right after the day after uh, Christmas. They have several bags they sell. The XL one's one hundred and fifty dollars, and then what's the next one? Leanne? is it seventy-five? Five, yeah. And then you know, I think they had a Wayne Goss one this year and a Jeffrey Star one, and you just give them your money, and you wait for a bag and see if you're gonna like it. <laughs> Right. And the <laughs> thing of it is, if you don't or have it, or like you said, Melissa, I mean, uh, really, no, a lot of people don't have $150 laying around to spend. Let's keep that 100. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's, it, it, it's like, a, do you get lucky or do you don't? Do you know why I buy them, Melissa? And this is a stupid thing. My first time I ever bought a lucky bag. Okay, in 2017, please do not go look at my older videos. I'm <laughs> mortified. Um, I got, I, I purchased the $75 one. So the smaller one. And one of the things I got in there was a, it's called something like a T150 blow dryer. That is like $150 alone. And then like all this other stuff, it was like over $400. And I, it, and I'm still <laughs> <it's> like <laughs> hoping to get a bag like that. And for five, six remember years, when you got the fridge? Yes. Oh, that, Yes. But I haven't got a good one since. Well, you know, I, I, I have never got one in all these years. And this year, I just thought, I'm just going to throw my money away and try it. Yeah, but, but you know, I, I get what you're saying, Melissa. I, I've got a backlog of stuff, too, it, from subscription boxes. I was saying the other day when we were on Ann's other live, I only get the Macy's, bo the Macy's box for 15 I get the small Ipsy bag. And I get the Margot Elena box and I do get the Walmart box. I don't count that because it's not really a beauty box, but that's all I get right now. I'm yeah. thinking about getting the Marnie. Mar how do you say it? Margot Elena. 
Yeah, because don't they have uh, perfumes in there, right? I've been into perfumes you, lately. It's a quarterly box. It's fifty nine ninety nine. I don't work for them either, and I don't make a commission. And they get you can tell them in a minute, Ann. And they what it is is you get lotions, body washes, body scrubs. You always get a perfume in every box, and then they have some sort of a lifestyle item. Um, this time it was a um. What's that thing you wear to keep your clothes from getting dirty in the kitchen that I never wear? Apron. Thank you. Apron. It was an apron. And, you know, it, I like the boxes a lot. I do use all the products because I like lotions and potions. And if you, But if you don't like scent, it's not a subscription for you. If you'd like different scents and smells, it is. I've never got a perfume I haven't liked yet. And they're full-size perfumes. And just to get the full-size perfume from either any of their people they use library of flowers their in-house brand and different things they're all, they would be fifty dollars each so i feel like i'm getting a perfume plus a bunch of good stuff so that's why i really like it because i'm a perfume hussy really really quickly here is my other bestie jody jody girls on here hi, hi jody. jody okay anyway i just want to say hi to her let her see that i seen her you were going to talk about Glossy Box, I think. No, that Marna Elena box. I was just saying because Margo. I'm in a perfume. You know, once my divorce finalizes, you know, I got to find me a nice, rich man. Remember how grandma used to always say that? Say it, you before she died? Absolutely. So she always, I'd say, how are you doing? She'd say, real good. I'd say, well, what are you up to? And she'd say, well, I'm looking for a rich man. <laughs> and I used to say, well, as long as you're still alive, you still got time. Woo, it's true. Your grandma was something else and so was your mom. I adored them both. Mm -hmm. They're truly missed. So let's see. Jody's out there. Jody, going to come up on panel tonight? Drop that link in. Maybe somebody wants to come out. I have a couple people up here. Oh, good. Get them. Mm -hmm. Melissa, it's been real okay. nice talking to you. You ladies also. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Have yes, a great evening. Come, come back. Again. We're going to do this a few times. I just want to get, get as much people up here to say hi yeah. to. But of course. Once, I, once I get used to this, I, I, I want you we'll to be better again because I want to get to talk to you more. Okay. We don't know what we're doing. We're just working this out. Uh, we really appreciate the fact that you guys are even listening. <laughs> I didn't get Melissa didn't say a word edgewise. I've been talking. Oh, gosh. All right. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks, Ann. Thanks, Lisa. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, she was so nice. Okay, I love Tammy. that. Tammy's been waiting very patiently. Let's get And everybody, that. please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'd really like to have you back. And I see Veronica and Crystal. I see you guys. I see ya. Hi, Hi. Tammy. How y'all doing? Good. Good. So, Lisa, Tammy was the one member. She came up on panel when we did the test run, and she was showing us how to do, like, the other stuff. Yes, Tammy. Yes. It's so good to see you again. Hi. Yeah, well, I have no makeup today, so we, we are doing a picture of bugging eye. <laughs> oh, I have no right. makeup either. <laughs> you should see how I look. Well, I had a chemical, uh, one of those chemical peels by the ordinary. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh God, I am so red. I cannot go on there. <laughs> was it that 30% one? Y um, Let me just double check. I just ran into the living room because I got you on the TV. I got you on the laptop. I got you on the phone. <laughs> I got, I, you're getting watch time, girl. <laughs> we appreciate you. It is the, yes, the third, the AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. You know, I'm afraid of that. I'm going to keep it well, real. I'm afraid of that. I've heard people say that it, it's just too much. And I do have sensitive skin, though. But do you think it works well? I like it. it, it because I'm in the desert, I have a lot of dust and dirt that blows around all the time. And it just cleans it off for me. And it makes me feel like I have a baby's butt for a face for a little bit. Oh, well, maybe I should try it. I need a baby's butt for a face. That's for sure. <laughs> I have a question really quickly. Everybody, uh, 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 when I'm looking on live, I just see myself. How come I don't see you girls? I see you I girls. see all three of us again. You, you're, went, flicking, you're flicking through the um, things on the bottom. You might be hitting your mouse or something. I don't know what you're on, but you keep going three and then you do Well, that's because I was testing it out uh, really quickly, <laughs> like what I was doing. But I, how come I, I don't see your, your pro? Do you guys see anybody else's profile picture up? I see. You? Yeah, now I do. All three of us. Okay, because yes. I Lori says she only sees me, and I only see myself too when I'm looking on my my phone. Well, Lori, you could be a little bit behind. Make sure you're completely caught no, up. I only some... see myself too. I'm on my live stream. I only see me. Well, me and Tammy see all three of us. 
Yeah, I see Anne, and then there's Lisa's blank, and then me. Yep. Okay. Well, Lori, maybe me and you are just the odd ones out, but okay, okay. Everybody <laughs> says they see three. Okay, good. But I'm I just wanted to hop now. on and tell you you're doing a fabulous job. And Thanks. the wolf spider, do you know what a wolf, do people know what a wolf spider is? I do. Yes, one of the most things. poisonous spiders. Those things can get huge. They could be the size of a small raccoon. I don't think they're that poisonous, but they really are the size of a softball. Yeah, they're huge. I worked we at a place. Here. I, yeah, I worked at a place. And I went in the first day and I seen this guy and he was like killing something. I was like, what's that? He's like, we have a wolf spider outbreak in here. And I thought, well, what is that? And then when I saw him, I said, I, I literally got up and left. I said, I'm sorry, I quit. And they said, because of the spiders? I said, yes. Yes. So I did. I don't know. I, I do have a funny story if you need a good laugh. Yes. So we do. I live in Arizona, okay? And in the Ritchie section, which is Fountain Hills, that's what I call it, the Ritchie section, um, they have these things called javelina. Are you familiar with what a javelina is? I'm not. No. No. It's a wild boar pig. They oh. are a nuisance, they go through garbage, and they're nasty. So up in the Ritchie section, they, they have good food in their garbage. So you got all these javelina. And mm. then I live in the ghetto. I'm in low-income housing. So, you know, I never worried about seeing them. Well, I went to go pick my daughter up from her dad's on Sunday. And as I'm driving back, I see two cars pulled over to the side. Because our, our side streets are six lanes wide. There's three one way, three the other way. Mm -hmm. And I see these cars pulled over on the side. And I'm like... What the hell? And the next thing you know, a squeal goes on. There was a gackle of javelina mm. coming through our town, and I hit a wild pig. And I felt so extremely bad. I mean, I was like, oh, my gosh. And he was just turning circles because I clipped his quarter hinds. Next thing you know, there's lights flashing everywhere, lighting up the sky like 4th of July of police officers from everybody hitting this gackle of javelina. But they're wild boars. Oh, they're my big, goodness. Big, big pigs with long tusks, and they just roam freely. They're a nuisance. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'd rather fight the pig than the wolf spider. Oh, yeah. Well, we have the brown recluse. We have the scorpions. We have the javelina. We have the Gila monsters. I mean, if you paid attention to what was out here, you would not want to go out. I missed my day. I don't want to go out there already. I, I've already decided no, I want to go out there. Rhonda not. is right. Let me tell you something. Everybody on here, when you hit that little gear up there on your screen, you have either top chat or all comments. If you want to make sure you see all comments, go ahead and hit that all comments button. And because you might be on top chat and that might be why you're not seeing all the different comments. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate that. Sorry yeah. about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, you're, you're fine. I mean, I, I do. I miss my damn squirrels and my chipmunks. I just want to go back to furry critters, you know, not these space age ones but and then yeah. i didn't get the beauty list bag but my girlfriend i called her up they had them for quite a while this year i noticed they because did. i got notices clear through till january 3rd that they were still available did you yes i was a little shocked by that because i know last year i went on the 26th at like noon and they were gone well i think during the panini a lot of people stopped wearing makeup you know i mean i didn't wear very much makeup myself and I think that a lot of people got into skincare and maybe that's why, you know, I just don't know. Cause usually they're gone in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. This year they were around for quite a while. I know. And I told my girlfriend, Hey, did you order Beautylish? That was the evening of Christmas. And she said, Oh no, let me go get one real quick. And she went and got one. So I got wow. a little vicariously through her, but they were, they were available for quite a while this year, but and I'm loving your palette. Sell out. Yeah, they do. They're usually gone the same day. But I love your palette. I'm going to pan that frost quicker than anything. That is my absolute favorite shade. I put that on everything. Me That's too. my favorite shade too. I love it. And you know what? This is when I, I say like it looks different in person because if you look at it, a lot of people thought it was like white, but it's the duochrome, right? It's like a pinkish yeah. purple. It's like so hard to explain, but it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, whatever you put on underneath it, it pulls from it. And then, at least in my case, and what I see, I get a pinky lavender little shift on it when I turn. But it pulls and just makes it look absolutely stunning. I think you need to talk to Darcy and get that as a single. And I'd be buying that. That's a really good idea. I'll have to talk to her about that. Because, because I, do, I, I highlight with it. 
I do the what's it called the decoupage or whatever the hell <laughs> I can't say what it I is. I just call it the chest at this point because I yeah, don't know how to say know, it. The lady chest and um, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I I I do I love that shade and that is the most stunning and I keep saying it wrong but I say urethral the 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 purpley one up in the corner oh <gasps> ethereal I, yes thank you because I keep calling it something and I keep thinking of a pea bug when I think about it you know <laughs> no we ethereal ethereal yeah. Think ethereal yeah I, I'm calling it urethral or something you go ahead know. you call it whatever you want as long as you wear it and like it you can call Amen. it Amen. I, I'm, giving you, I'm giving you kudos because the last two lives I did I've used I used you and Jeffree Star in my last one I was like oh Ann aren't you so glad you hear somebody saying I'm using your palette and Jeffree Star oh, that's good wow. company that's good company he's made a lot of money yeah but oh I know, I, I know, I absolutely adore that pat. Well, it's the only one I got, but I was so proud when it came. I like knocked my mail lady over. I was like, "You have a package for me? Can I have it?" And she's like, "Okay, hold on. What what apartment are you in?" And I told her my apartment, and she's like, "I don't have it. Oh wait, this here, but it's it would have fit in your box." I'm like, "That's okay. I'll take it right now." No, I bet you. I've chased a mailman before over some stuff. I and like, I knew she was looking at me like, "Are you going to attack me?" I was thinking, "No, you left with my." Boxy charm. I want it. <laughs> oh well, my God. Is, we all been there. Oh, remember when <laughs> subscription boxes were like so popular? And uh, most of us were just getting back into makeup. And I would like look, pace back and forth for the mailman. I would wait on the porch. Like I had it to where my mailman, if I got any packages, he knew he had to ring my doorbell. So I knew there were packages. <laughs> well, yeah. I live on second floor. And the mailboxes are literally across the street on the other side of the apartment complex. Now, I'm not a skinny girl by far. I'm not a big, big girl, but I'm not a skinny girl by far. But my fat butt was running, <laughs> running. Things were jiggling that I haven't seen jiggle in years to get home to open that package, to Woo! get that pallet out. And I went, I, I mean, I was shaking. I was on my live. I was like, I just got this lake. I'm like, open it up, open it up. Oh, Rip God. that box open. Yes, because I had to have that palette because you showed that frost and you said it's not doing it justice. And I was like, I know that's got a shift. It <laughs> had a really, it had such a beautiful yeah. shift. Yeah, but I, I like absolutely. blushing. Oh, that like makes me so happy that you guys really like it. And that's the truth, you know? It's, I liked all Anne's palettes that she's put out, but this is my favorite one. Extraordinaries was beautiful and the Christmas one, but this is my favorite by far. Oh, this oh. is my jam for the purples and the blues because I am a pu purple blue whore. Like, oh, me no too. Tomorrow. I, I, well, my hair is blue. So, you know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Them. I love up them, but you did great. And I know you have other people. I just wanted to come on and tell you how wonderful you're doing. And you got this. Who cares if you're behind or what? Not in the chat. It's all good. Thank you. Yeah, because I got Dolphins Girls and Crystal has been waiting for a minute. And I want to get them yeah. up before I get off of here because we've been on here almost two hours. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you're doing great. Love you. And if you need any help, just DM me and I'll set you all up as much as I can. Thanks, Tammy. Uh, I will. You're I'll welcome. be messaging you because uh, I'm getting okay. on BTU's nerves. So I'll be <laughs> Blow it up, girl. <laughs> All right. Bye, Tammy. Right, bye, bye Bye, Tammy. And please, everybody, hit that like button if you're out there. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'd really like to have you back. There's my girl, Dolphins girl. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. You guys, you? I'm pretty good with computers, but... And I'm laughing at you guys being difficult, you know, with all this technology. And you know how long it took me to figure out how to get into this chat? <laughs> a lot. Are you going to make us go, feel better? Thank I you. Had to, I had to go through the actual app. Oh, my goodness. How you don't need to do the app. Oh, well, I need to do the app. Because that's how challenged <laughs> I was. And I'm like, here I am laughing at you guys not knowing how to do this. I'm like, these girls, they don't know what they're I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I can't talk because... 20 minutes now and I had to go out of the chat in the chat but anyway now I'm in the chat so I'm gonna be honest I was really nervous the first time I tried to come in I thought this isn't gonna work but I, we had so much fun over on the other channel I was actually looking forward to this tonight I'm well, so glad we're doing something. it I'm not a mushy gushy kind of girl but just this whole kumbaya thing this group has got going on because you know I, I, I follow a couple of other podcasts that I feel the same way I kind of started listening to them as they first started and like when they fight i get upset like it's my life you know i'm like oh my right. god they broke up and now which one do i go to and you know kind of mimicked how you guys with abby was and it was anyway long story short 
I'm really glad that you guys are doing this chat now because there's so many people out there that, you know, like Ann says, you can help each other just based on knowing there's other people out there like you. So, I well, that's such a sweet idea. thing. That, you're so kind. You know, I feel blessed that Ann has me here and I'm getting enjoying being a part of this and talking to everybody. If you can't tell, I'm really having a good time. And so I appreciate every one of you, you and every person in the chat. I appreciate every one of you. You've all helped me in some way. And let me tell you, you know what? You guys can feel that it's genuine because a lot of times people say that, but like I got all emotional the other night at like four in the morning or three in the morning, whenever that crazy chat happened. And that, you know, lady who said that she just lost her mom and mm -hmm. she's trying to get back into art. I was like, oh my God, she really like touched me. I'm like, wow. You know, so it's it's really amazing what you guys are doing. So you should be proud. Well, we're trying. I mean, and we appreciate that so much because me and Ann are both nervous, aren't we, Ann? <laughs> Don't yes, be but you guys noticed. What did you, you guys say? are making it so easy for us? You guys make it easy for us. That's mm -hmm. that's what we need to say. Really, we're blessed. Listen, I when I see and hear Ann on her walk and talks and how she's just talking up a storm, that's how I am in real life. So yep. I can't imagine why she's so quiet on the, you know, on the tent. So <laughs> just be the same way you are when you walk and talk. Cause when I can just picture you walking around that park with your, you know, cameras, you know, and your stick and you're just talking to yourself. And I'm like, if I saw that in real life, I'd be laughing, but you know what? I'm listening to it. So right. <laughs> right. <laughs> You well, know. you know, that's why I always go very quickly. Did you guys notice? I figured out how to take the comment off the bottom of the screen. Do you know what I was doing wrong? No. I, so when everybody was saying, this is how dumb I am. I can't even believe I'm going to say this. Hello, 20 so, minutes to get into the chat. You're not as dumb as me tonight. <laughs> uh, well, at least you got a profile picture up. Look, at least. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. So look. I, I was hitting the comment. Remember when you guys were saying hit the comment? I was hitting the comment that was on screen, not the comment that was on live chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I was like, it's not doing nothing. Oh, my god! Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. This is you know a learning what might process. Be a good idea, like, for, like, the future is maybe having one moderator dealing with, like, the chat and one dealing with putting the comments on because I think that's what other people do. You know, well, I hope you didn't expect me to try to like, figure that out because I don't think I can. Yeah, because it's too hard to do it together, you know? Yeah, well, I'll get it. I got to figure out, like, first of all, how to, uh, well, Tammy's going to help me. I know BTU will help me and Tira and stuff, but like, you see, I don't want to have topic, this. It's huh? kind of cool to know what everybody's talking about. Like, if you jump in late and you have something on the top, like, if you know, you hit a chat late and you see what they're talking about, like, what's her name does a really good job with that. Uh, Jen Love. Oh my God, she does great in live chat. I don't know if you guys ever go to her live chat, but yes. yeah. So I it's, do, it'll be cool yeah. like, you jump in late. Like, let's say I, I missed the first 10 minutes and you're talking to somebody and like you can say what you're actually talking about. It's That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So you might need another moderator. But you're right. Like, yeah. But not me because I, I could barely get my... <laughs> myself in here i'm not i'm not volunteering myself, listen no. you just threw me under the bus and said maybe one of your moderators ought to be doing I, I, not me i don't know i don't know how i got in this room listen it took me a lot to figure out how to do the picture too and i'm usually pretty good about that so you know you guys well i'm gonna try to figure it out well, what's good to see you about the group is that like we're over 40s or 50s type of, i mean i'm assuming and yeah i'm 55 like, we i can tell you that usually you know i was gonna say earlier in the chat that like we've been through shit if we're here at this time and we've been through all these years, no matter, nobody's life is that like blessed. So right. we all could like, you know, learn from each other. And I think that in the forties and fifties, you get a little bit more mature and stop being so judgmental. At least I do. Yeah. So, like, you know, like that Tara thing. I was like, Oh my God, Tara's in this chat. Oh my God. Didn't they used to hate each other? Oh my God. <laughs> you, know? you know, there like, was you never hate. So it, well. it, I think it people, so well. I, well, thank you. I think that people think, things that they think things that aren't true i mean the the right. youtube streets make it look like it's a huge deal when really yeah it's not so that big jealousy there is backbiting, you know and you there know what? Is. it's true what you guys say that you guys those friends were not your friends because i thought you know abby and you know ann were like besties forever and like something small and outrageous like that because that's an outrageous thing that happened but it was one little blip to have your whole friendship just fall apart over like one rumor is just that's not real friendship it's well you know ann and abby are okay well, abby, no no i know you guys are okay now i'm just saying it's a shame but you know why that was it was because yeah. so many people got involved right got involved that i agree involved. 
But anyway, let's I not talk about. We're gonna talk no, that's all right. Things. Well, we'll talk about anything. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. off limits here unless Anne says it's off limits. Yeah, but I just want everybody to know. Nothing off limits at all. At yeah, all. but you don't want to give some some things oxygen either, because you know you guys, yeah. like you said, you're at a good place, and her warriors are her warriors, your warriors are your warriors, and I'm in. That's the right. So you know. We don't want to draw oxygen to it, but I can we we don't want different. anybody to try to have to pick between one or the other yeah. ever. I mean, you know, things happen. It's yeah. the, people forget this is re the real world, even though exactly. we're on YouTube. This is real life right. stuff. But you know, you know, I mean, friendships break up, people become friends. You know, marriages yeah. end. A lot of people just don't talk about it. People yeah. can have their whole world blown up behind them, and they and come on YouTube like, and never. Yeah. Yes, you know that <laughs> ain't am. That is well, not Anne. Anne. Anne keeps it real. In the days that she's barely being able to go on and doesn't want to go on, she'll tell you, I didn't even want to do it, but I pushed myself. So, you know. Amen. That, that motivates people. It, it really does. It does. And, you know, again, people are, people can be not completely honest about their lives. And, you know, I've done it. I'm, I'm sure you've done it. Anne's done it. You know, we want to, when we meet people, sometimes we put on airs is what my oh, mom used to call it. You know, and we don't we don't want to say, hey, you know, my husband punches me in the face and my kids laying on the floor and won't get up. You know, right. I mean, that's not a good way to start anything. But in the in the real world, this is the real world. You know, I yeah. mean, everything's not perfect. Our age, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to age anybody else on here. But oh, it's it okay. like it's a more mature chat, you know, and at our age, we've been through stuff. So it's like you're like, you know what? I used to maybe judge this and judge that. But like even when you mentioned earlier about being I'm tougher. If somebody messes with my friends, I'm more mad than if they mess yep. with me. But yes. I've also learned to take a step back and take a breath and say, you know what? Who's going to be the one that's going to be when they two, when the two of them become friendly and okay. <laughs> they're fighting? Who's the one that's going to be on the outs? It's going to be you because you butt in. You don't, you know. You know, strange I, I absolutely. We'll say we'll use the Abby situation. Anne and Abby have gotten arguments before. I have always told Anne, you know, just make it right. Do what's right. best for you because if you have a real friend. You want them to be happy. Exactly. That's so true. Yeah. And that's why I say like on my vlog channel, when I get more personal on that channel, I always say, you know, let's say I'm, uh, I'll, I'll use Lisa as an example or, you know, Go ahead. And, and say I'm talking to Dolphins girl and I'm like, oh, Lisa pisses me off. She's a bitch, blah, blah, blah. Right. Well, I'm venting. I'm mad. Yeah. And that's how I feel. But sometimes it's best just to listen and not judge exactly. or take somebody's side. What a lot of people tend to do when Maybe I'm mad so I don't realize I'm exaggerating or maybe I feel that way because I have my emotions, but maybe that's not how it really is. Right. And I think so many people do that. And I that's why I try to say, like, sometimes it's better just shh, be Perception quiet. Perception is reality, though. You know, if yeah. you perceive something to be one way, it's your reality. I mean... And until you figure it out, you're going to just see it one way. And I get that for sure. Well, I mean, when it comes to like with YouTube and then like somebody says something and then you get grouped up, people. Well, it's like, the, it's like person. the old game telephone. You know, right. I tell right. one person and then they whisper it to the next person. By the time it gets, you started out with, I have blue shoes. And at the end, it's my dog got right. in the door. You know, I mean, it's completely different. It's, yeah, I couldn't think of Mask. anything good. I got lost there. <laughs> That's for all right. We got you. <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, you yeah, know, it's just... yeah. And there's always like, I have, I always best friends with two girls at the same time. And being in a threesome friendship is just the worst of it all because there's always two that, you know, my, now I probably could handle it better. But at that time, it was like always two. There was always like weird, weird, weird. Just so there's know, weird jealousy sometimes. Yeah. I think as it's we get older, yeah. I think as we get older, we feel better with ourselves, and we can have multiple friends. And we and, don't take you know, things so personal. <laughs> right. At least yeah. I don't. I mean, I, you know, I've had a lot of relationships that have come and gone. I've been married for 30 years, so I don't mean my marriage. But my friends, you know, they've changed. And like, you know, Anne's grandma said, my mom used to say the same thing. If when you die, you could have count three or four real friends on one hand you're you blessed. have succeeded you're oh, you yeah. succeeded you're blessed uh, you know for sure yeah because and everybody's not your friend the changes that are going to be like five years from now you you change your friendships can change and sometimes it's okay to walk away from somebody who is not serving you and you're not serving them because absolutely that's you know if you don't have any common bonds sometimes you can stay strong but sometimes you don't have anything in common and that's why you guys when you when you're hanging around with your friends and you do more of saying what what how fun much you know instead of having new fun you sit around talking about all the old fun 
then there's something stagnant in that relationship. You know what I mean? Well, you know, it's something Anna always says that I really like, which is yeah. people are in your life for a season or a reason. Oh, yeah. Or a yeah. lifetime. And I also believe this. I never understood this. Sometimes, like like Dolphin's girl, she hit, she, she hit the nail on the head. Sometimes people change. For instance, right? My kids are grown. So if I'm friends with somebody that, let's say they have smaller kids, we're in a different, they can't understand when I feel like, oh, I feel like the empty nest. Like my kids don't need me anymore. You know what every, every mother goes through that, yeah. even if they're living at home. Like when a kid don't need, you feel like the kid, even though they always yeah. do, but you you know, it's like, you know what I mean? When they Absolutely. start driving and they don't have yeah. need to ask you, can you take me here? Well, they don't understand that. Uh, if, if they still have parents that are living and you, or whatever the case may be, right. um, sometimes it just. Um, sometimes like, you have to meet somebody where they are. Right. Yeah. And I noticed for me, this is why I love, love, love our like group or our community, whatever you want to call it, because we all understand each other. We're all around the same age, you know, give or take, right? But yes. We've been through at least one thing that everybody else has been through. Right. And one thing I always say, Lisa can tell you, Jody's on here, she can tell you, I talked on the phone. I, I, I don't know if they, if people do this behind my back or not, but I feel the why, why I'm so open is because I'm not judged as much. And There's why? Trust, yeah. Because we all experience things like Dolphins Girl said. We right. then, we're older and when yeah. you're older you do you it's ex life lessons that's why i try to say experience life experiences right? your experiences as you get older are they affect the way you act towards other people i mean and even in just two or three years you mature especially sure. after you get after 40 you start i always say when i got to be 50 there's less time in front of me than there was behind me so i need to make this time count yeah and you don't sweat the big, you just don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> That's yes. so true. Is there anybody in the back end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just telling Crystal. I'm getting ready to click on yeah. her. She's been waiting too. Okay. It was so well, good was nice to talk to you, you for real. And yes, Dolphins Girl. Soon. <laughs> and thank you because I know you've been you've been around for a long time. Thank you for sticking by me through thick and thin. I really appreciate you. Of I course, really do. Of course. All righty. Take care. Everybody have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Okay, here we and go. I'm going to sound like a broken record. Please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you back. Don't laugh at me, Ann. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. All right, All right Crystal. Crystal. I'm adding you on. Hey, can you hear me okay now? Yes. yes. Awesome. It's still a little <laughs> echoey, though. Sorry, I don't know what to do about that. Before, I was on earbuds, and oh, that was not working. All right, well, you know. I think what happened, I think you just have to turn the volume down. I have it all the way down, but I can still hear you talking. So mm, I don't know. I don't know either. How are you tonight? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? You sound wonderful. We're having fun. I know. Now, you know what? I used to question like when I see people on live stream or stream yard, because you know, you can have people come up. And I used to say, how can people have three and four hour live streams? We've been on two hours, and I swear it doesn't feel like it's been two hours. It does. Yeah, there is a bad echo somewhere. somewhere. Might be me, in which case, I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll have oh, to try okay. to get on They're another time. They don't hear an echo. We're good. We're good. It says, turn off or mute YouTube. Okay, can okay hit the pause button on your, on your YouTube or whatever you want to hit the pause button. Give me a second. Okay, and let's try that. We're all new. We're all, new all right. What happened? Okay, let me say. Okay, still, still there. Hmm. We're, all, We're learning. all learning. How about now? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> yep. Yep. It's just an echo. echo. I got an yeah, echo. Is bad. <laughs> well, we're amateurs we're over amateur, here. We're not sure how to do that. We're working, we're working on it. Working on it. Yeah, I have YouTube paused now. I didn't before, so that was a good call. Okay. Okay. But Still if it's there. worse, there. maybe I should. I don't know. Hmm. Jody says Jody the echo is bad, 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 bad. All right. Well, I'll I'll get off then.
Thanks for adding me. I really appreciate it. I love you know what uh, I'll do, Crystal? Uh, Crystal uh, let, let me do. I, I, I know the echo is bad. Let me Google when we get off because, because I really would like you to come up next time so I can talk to you. You've been waiting so patiently, and I want to talk to you. I appreciate that. All right. Bye, Crystal. Thanks so much, Anne. Thanks, Lisa. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that makes me sad. It makes me sad I've been too. Been back for so long. It makes me um, sad too. I know. So we'll, we'll, listen, we're all going to figure it out. Pausing doesn't fix it. You have to close the YouTube app completely. Now, let me ask you a question: If you close it out, then how can she be on? Like, can you still be on Streamyard? Are I you like know. talking? I don't know. I, I, it might be a dumb question. I have no idea. Well, it's not. There is no dumb question. I mean, we don't know. I mean, we'll figure it out as we go along. I mean, I think we're all on the same boat here. I appreciate everybody in the chat that's trying to help. So I think that even if you close YouTube, you're still on StreamYard. Oh, okay. So what you'll have to do then um, is... It says uh, you can't have YouTube open and be on StreamYard link. Okay, she says she closed it. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Next time we'll come on because I'm going to get off of here in a minute. Um, it's been 11 o'clock. I want to check on Nala. and um, But we'll figure it out. I, hopefully the next time I come on, I can have like a background so you guys don't see just a big black background. I well, can hopefully have... I can figure out how to put a picture on. <laughs> I'm just a white spot. Tara said that white spot's <laughs> <Yeah. tricky>. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, listen, I'm not even looking at it at this point. I'm like, whatever. I'm a white spot. That's it. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll change my name to Lisa Smith, white spot. No, that would probably make people mad, too. Because she is a stream yard, which is a completely. Oh, OK. Got you. Got you, Jerry. Thank you. So much. I really appreciate you guys helping us out because me and Lisa are like the blind leading the blind. We are. And, and I'm blinder. That's for I sure. mean, look, I, I tried to get the profile picture up and I didn't even know I was starting to stream. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I texted you. I said, are you going live? Do you know that? And you're like, no, no, I did not. I started sweating. I was like, oh, my God, let me see. B still up, you know, and I like was like, B, what do I do? <laughs> Well, B, B's been real helpful to you. Yes. Yeah. Everybody in the chat, we really appreciate you. Cindy, Jerry, Sarah, Andy, Linda. I know I'm missing people. Let me roll back. Sandra, Audrey, Cindy, Crystal, B to you. We really appreciate you. Um, just all of you. We really, Dolphins Girl, everybody's come up here tonight. We appreciate every one of you because we have no idea what we're doing. And you're helping us do what we didn't know how to do. Yes. And Veronica, I know you were waiting. Did you want to come on for just a minute before I get off of here or what? Let me know and I'll drop the link. Because yeah, yeah, I don't know anything either. Deanna, hi. Rhonda, Crystal, everybody. You guys are just troopers sticking in here while we don't know what we're doing. We we got echoes. We going in and out. We don't know how to take the Bang, banner on, banner off. You know, <laughs> we're, we're working it out, but we're going to have fun and we're going to learn together. That's the most important thing. We're all going to learn together because you guys will help us. And Ann knows we need help. And if you're not subscribed to my Just Dan's World, make sure you subscribe because we're going to do some like late, late night streams for the people that yes. are like us night owls, like 2 a.m. Well, Eastern time. And then that will be like, you know, we talk like this because. Hold on, Andy, you know, I can't drop my link. I have no idea how to do that. But I don't do videos anymore. <laughs> and she said, Lisa, drop your link. What? <laughs> no, I can't do that. You asked me to be your moderator. I said, unless as long as that's all I got to do, because I can't do anything else. I can't. <laughs> I'm technically challenged. Oh, my God. It's, it's true. Funny. When you first time you asked me to drop a link, I thought I will choke you out when I see you because, oh, no, I can't do it. I guess I'll moderate for anybody else because they would ask me to do something. I don't know how to do it. Well, you know, because uh, we're going to go live more often, I do have to get more moderators. So I don't know who wants to help moderate for something like this that like can drop a link and different things like that. That would help out. Yeah. If anybody um, down there, if you want to be a moderator, please put I'd be willing to mod in the chat. So when she goes back and looks at it, we can, uh, you know, get with you, make sure that you actually would want to do this, you know, and there's not much to it more than I can do, obviously, but I, I hear it's pretty easy. <laughs> uh, Jenny says you sound like a pro, please. Her head is already big enough. However, 
Lisa, you know what? Lisa is, she, it bothers her that she can't say hi to everybody because real, and all jokes aside, and I will say that I don't know how Lisa does it because even with me and it's my channel, I can't keep up with saying hi to everybody, but Lisa, every single person who comes in says hi, hi, hi. And it bothers her when she's up here and she can't do it. Yeah, it's it's like splitting the baby. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to be able to talk in the chat, but it's hard to, to do both. It really is. It may be well, more than I'm up, I'm up to, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, B, on this channel, it will always be at, when I go live, it'll always be at nine o'clock uh, Eastern time on this channel. On the Just Dan's world, I'll still do nine o'clock, but sometimes late, you know. But for the most part, it'll be at nine o'clock on that on that channel as well. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here because I got to check on Nala and all that kind of stuff and give her pain medicine, her nightly pain. And thank medicine. you, everybody who's putting that in the chat. I really do appreciate it. She will go back and look at it and she will make some of you guys mods. And if you have any yeah. questions, you know, you can email her or hit her up on Instagram. <laughs> what? Just crack me up. You're like my secretary. I love you so much. I am oh. your secretary. You've been calling me that since what year two of our friendship. I used yeah. to take notes on Ann's videos because she used to do so many giveaways. I'd be taking the notes. Like <laughs> you said, you said to do this, this, say this word, and then you're giving away this, this. I and Ann, I would call her up and be like, Well, here's the list. Oh and she'd go God. through and pack the boxes. Don't you remember that? The good old yeah. days. All right, I'm gonna get off of here, guys. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you so much for staying. Absolutely, here thanks. I really thank you for having me up, and I really appreciate everybody in the chat too. Thank you so much. All right, bye, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. I don't know how to get off here, Ann.